you know, just, just he's just chilling in midair with his legs cut I, off. You know, nothing unusual. <laughs> I mentioned that too, but it, like I knew I knew this was gonna be a bad episode. Like right at the beginning, where he's just like, where the guy's just like, "Who are you?" And the character just goes blank. Who am I? I was like, "Bro, we just had this episode." <laughs> <laughs> and we had to basically see it again. And I was just like, oh. Favorite villain is Shark Guy. Dude, he would he's, be your favorite. He just he just sees people in a park and then releases shark teeth at them. <laughs> like, dude, you. You, you can't get much cooler than that. Then he just walks away like nothing happened. Oh, I would totally do that. <laughs> And welcome to the Anime Isekai Podcast, week 9 of the summer 2020 season. On this show, we'll be discussing the current season of anime airing every week. I'm your host, David, and joining you today, we have Sren. Hello, everyone. Next up, we have Ku. Hello. And finally, we have Sasha. Chariuk. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That was um, the title of my last week. You missed it. <laughs> so, no we don't comment. have any um, anime news to go over Again, so we got to jump right into Gato High School, and well, I actually forgot real, a lot real, of things. Like what? Real quick, David. Um, do we want to mention just like uh, just kind of like the changes with Crunchyroll about how like you know the new member oh, the like membership tiers, tiers sure. offline oh. viewing. Which, offline viewing is actually pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Sure, it could be a uh, could be game changer for some people because oh, I, I would assume I've... if it's offline, you can download it. Or can yes. you do that already? No, no, okay. you, you couldn't do that right now. So you have to like be the extra tier. Ooh. This could be good, then. And they said something about like, concurrent streams, but, like, I don't really need that, because we all watch... Whoever's ever using my account, they're all watching at different times, so we're good. I just, oh, I is, that what that, that, is that what that means? Yeah, so I forgot to mention that, because I wasn't going to increase the tier. I was going to keep the basic one, because that's all I need. Because it's really... It's more, like, you get discounts on merchandise and, like, the store. Huh. So, so okay, so I thought for offline viewing... I, I, I sw- And offline viewing, else? yeah. Okay, I thought I, I thought I, I thought I remember watching anime on like on my tablet at some point where I thought it was like, I don't know if it was Crunchyroll, where you could you could download it before or I don't know I can't I'm maybe I'm confused maybe I'm thinking of Hulu I might be thinking of Hulu it might be Hulu I don't think Crunchyroll did that. Okay. So. All right. Well, we'll look into it then. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So, so I by me, that... I, by us, I mean Sasha. <laughs> he's very he's very knowledgeable about uh, Crunchyroll. He knows it all. Yes. I'm just like that guy from Dark Knight. I'm very good with calculations. <laughs> and then gets captured by Batman in Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> so that's like the only, yeah, I guess whatever anime news that was. So remember when I got out of high school and then I I didn't take notes and I barely remember what happened to himself because <laughs> I watched it on Monday. So I'm only helping you guys help me set, set this up. But, Sasha, go ahead. You were the, I think, the most recent person to watch the show. I got you guys. All right. So I'm going to tell you this. God of High School is at its best when it combines the story with the action. So the prior week's episode, I was like, all right, this is just way too fast for me. I don't know what's going on. This week's episode, it was really good. Really well done. You could still tell they could have added a little bit more here and there. It slowed down even a little bit more to explain this whole triangle of hate uh, between Knox, the God of High School tournament directors, and well, I don't know who the other part of Triangle would be. But <laughs> all in all, um, I, I love Jin's grandpa. He's probably my favorite character because he's just he's just so unique and interesting. Army guy who makes friends, gives him solid advice. And now, you know, he's he's getting tortured by Nox people, which is do, terrible. Do we think he's going to die? Do uh, gonna I don't think he'll die. Okay. Yep. You don't think this is going to be an ace moment? Oh, uh, no, no. You, I guess in God of High School, you only die if you have kids or <laughs> if you have <laughs> a really bad disease. <laughs> to be fair, though, uh, we did find out that that, uh, that announcer's family survived. Yep. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Some yeah. mannequins were hurt. So if there are any mannequins watching your show, we're sorry. Any hey, people. <laughs> yep. Some guys like sit at home <laughs> controlling his puppets. Why? <laughs> Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> he's just having his own little funeral his own little funeral going on he has like a little oh. like a post of a picture it's just somewhere like hanging on one of his shelves he burns a candle every month wow you, you seem to know this guy pretty well I, I, I'm, just, I, I'm not, I'm, your not saying, 
I'm not saying I know this guy or uh, that we, we're close or we talk. Or that we're the same person. But yeah, overall, just uh, I thought it was, it was a good change of pace from the random mindless action. Well, not mindless, but just plotless okay. because it had no actual service to it. Yeah, so, I can't. I can't remember. Yeah, because this was the when they had they had the two the fights between the two schools. Like, yeah, the, the two yep. cousins fighting against um, I forgot who they fought against, but like, it was basically like the focus was on them. They didn't really focus much on the three main characters, so. That's pretty interesting. That that and the other guy who was really into Jin more for some reason, because like they met his grandpa when they were kids, and then he had that mm-hmm. one. And then I guess he stopped the shark guy. That's all I remember from this episode. Dude, that guy yep. seems pretty badass, and I want his jacket. <laughs> that is a cool jacket. <laughs> yep. Agreed. And Shark Man, that's my favorite. That's my favorite villain, I should say. So favorite villain is Shark Guy. <laughs> he Dude, would he's... be your favorite. <laughs> He just he just sees people in a park and then releases shark teeth at them. <laughs> like, dude, you. You, you can't get much cooler than that. Then he just walks away like nothing happened. Oh, I would totally do that. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. When I saw that moment, I was like, "Damn, this is a Sasha moment right here." <laughs> like, but like the other guy seems he actually seems really badass. I don't know about like yeah. uh, he, he does seem really cool. I want to know more about that. Uh, I also feel like the, the rest of this season, I feel like it's going to be, it's going to be like the tournament arc, but at the same time, it's also going to be like, we're going to, I think we're also going to be seeing like the, um, the commissioners, like, I think they're going to have their own separate arc as well. Cause it seems like they're like, they officially kind of like, you know, recognize Noxus or Nox? Nox. Nox. Yeah. Nox. Yep. Yeah. We're not, we're not talking about League yeah. here. Yes. I, I, just, um, that's right. I just want to remember too how, um, uh, that last part too, how, um, Han, he was, he was feeding the he was being Q because he wanted to learn how to draw the power of, of the Charyuk, I think. So hopefully that ends up somewhere. Like we start seeing the three main people get like their own powers or whatever. I I almost feel like Jin is gonna be the last person <laughs> to get his Charyuk because he basically feels like he doesn't need it. But the other two feel like that they, they feel like the only way they can catch up. I is hope if he they gets get... his grandpa. Like I really hope that's what that's what the plot close to because i i like that kind of development so that would be awesome he's going to turn into a tiger i that's my prediction you, like he'll have his own like little tiger he'll have his own little beast i guess oh boy yeah, he is. <laughs> um I, I don't know at this like currently at this point i'm kind of more excited just to see what the what the uh what the commissioners do just because they seem They're, so they seem, overpowered they, at this moment. they seem like more relevant like plot wise like yeah, it just feels like this cool. tournament it just doesn't matter. But it's just like we just, like, we just randomly have people using powers that still aren't explained. No. Yeah. Well, that's it. actually a good transition. Who do you guys think the traitor is? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Oh god, I think it's. I think it's somebody that they haven't really like talked about yet. I don't think it's a scythe guy because he he legitimately seems like he's like like uh he was impacted by this. He's like, why the hell do you have to have this guy's family die? Like he legitimately sees like he's like a. Like he's actually taking those actions to basically be like, "Well, dude, what the fuck is happening?" And I mean, he, I mean, he's taking what currently nine months of pay, pay deduction. Is that <laughs> what like, that's like dude, that's I knew that joke was coming. The running joke, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. Broke, dude. Because there's, there's no way, there's no way you're gonna be the trainer and not get paid. Because he's okay, he's Q. Um, who's like the the, the white haired girl? I, I I think she's P P or O. I forgot or something. I don't but, remember. <laughs> Dude, I don't know how you remember these at all. I forgot right? it was Q. Yeah, because, because, like, I remember that the guy, because they're all, like, alphabet letters. So, the guy was Q, someone's P, and then, I don't know, like, so, there's Q. Whoever's T. The, 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 the white hair. The there's the white hair's T. <laughs> and then, so, it was, like, it was, there's, there's green hair, there's, like, white hair, and then the, there's the blue hair. I don't think any, I can't see any of those three being the traitor. Uh, chat remember. said I is blue. I is blue, yeah. So, so I can't see I being blue either, just because she seems very... Very loyal to like to Park Mugen. She's the puppeteer. I think so. So okay. uh, I, I want to say I it's that guy that the, fought uh, Jin, the yep, fought Jin, the, and gave him the his imitation or whatever. He's the only sus yeah. guy. The, I agree. I think he was the blonde hair guy, right? Yeah, the yep. blonde hair guy yeah. that uh, went out to Jin to the one that beat Jin, like the one that Jin was trying to fight, the commissioner. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. That's actually a good one. Yeah. Yep. I. Yeah, he's yeah the blonde dude. Yep, I do remember. I, that's, the, that's the guy Jim keeps wanting to fight. Okay, gotcha. Because yeah, I just can't yep. see it being the other three. Maybe maybe they'll like mm-hmm. the whole t- plot twist, but yeah. That would, 
Dude, the fire dragon. Uh, I, I, I I don't know. I don't know her name. The the white hair girl I with think the she's fire dragon. Key. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, that, I, I, don't, I think she's safe. I think she could have easily betrayed right there if she wanted to, but she didn't. You know, like when she saved Q. Obviously, we do our research too because we we just know all the names. <laughs> See? Okay, this is like oh, during yeah. these moments is when we had Brian to basically be like, we say something like, oh, what what the hell is about Where's this? Our hype and then, man. Yeah. Like five, no, I know. It's not even just that, but like five seconds later, we'd have that image and we'd all be like, oh shit, yeah, that's right. We don't have that anymore. Brian, we miss you. Come back, yeah. please. Yeah, come back, bro. We we know you work in rubbing old people's backs <laughs> with cream. Or I don't think he's doing that anymore. I think he's actually he's working as a lab assistant. So. <laughs> Dude, he, he, he just, lied he's, to us. <laughs> he's, he's no, he's full up there of COVID, man. He's just trying to make sure he's just not trying to get it at work every day. Let's just be clear. He's he's not like a masseuse for old people. We're just gonna let we're just gonna say that out there. I know. Brian, Sasha has me thinking otherwise, and everything Sasha says no, is he, true. He, Fake news. We know what he's doing. You got that warm, bubbly water running. <laughs> Take a step into my bath. <laughs> <There's> soap. <laughs> yep. Oh boy. Uh, uh, but do we have at least now we know. Tournament seems like it's just for the purpose of unlocking this key. I think that's whoever is going to oh, yeah. potentially that's, defeat. That's what Knox. they explained. Yeah. Well. Yeah. They mentioned the, the key about something else, like. Because Park Mugen wants the key for something, and Nox basically wants to stop him from getting the key. So they want to either resurrect God or kill God, in a sense. Yeah, like you normally do. Yep, mm-hmm. just stereotypical day trying to kill or resurrect God. You know. Hey man, join the cult. <laughs> <laughs> the Nox cult, yes. Yeah, uh, I'm very curious to hear more about how Nox was created and their ultimate goal. So, like I said, I, I was happy to see. The story and the interaction. I will say one part of it was kind of humorous to me, not in a good way though. No uh, is the guy who confronted um, Jin, the tiger shirt guy? Yeah. I love how at the beginning they're like, "He's a master strategist," and he just tells that girl, "He's like, yeah, he's going to be really big, so he's going to try to grab you." <laughs> and then I was expecting him to give some really insightful advice there, and he's just like, "You just got to aim for his weak spot." <laughs> I was like, "What?" That was insightful. What are you talking about? Bro. Maybe she didn't know. I, I think someone who's fighting in a tournament and has made it to this point will probably have some further well, insight. He's also talking big to his cousin. He's like, Oh yeah, like just listen to me. And like even though you used to bully me all the time when we were kids, like you gotta trust me in this one. Dude, yeah. Again, th- like this is supposed to be like a high school tournament, and that dude looked like he was forty years old. <laughs> like that gigantic built dude. Oh and- yeah, the army guy. Yeah, it's again like these characters that look like they have no business in high school or in high school. Uh, hey, man, apparently, anyone can go to high school in South Korea. Maybe this, maybe this is the plan where they're just like, hey, I'm going to win this tournament by just constantly failing high school. So I'm forever in high school and then just basically just destroy some kids. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> That's pretty. We should all do that, guys. Hey, because maybe we uh, could have an advantage. It's like that movie. I. I think it's Drew Barrymore, Never Been Kissed or something like that, where she has to go back to high school, but she's undercover, right? But, you know, it's just a lot more entertaining you out of high school. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, just like that movie, Drew Barrymore. It, it's exactly like that. Too bad the shark tooth didn't go through her body. <laughs> yes, too bad. Right. Yes. <laughs> it's like the guy just basically just shoots a random tooth and just, like how Sasha said, well, walks away. Like... Dude. A point. Again, the, like, they didn't that explain is the, the powers of, cool. <laughs> of a what, Sasha? The definition of cool, right there. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like imagine you're you're playing Pokemon cards with some kid in the park, and then he takes one of your cards, and your uncle shows up and just <laughs> sends a shark tooth through his body. <laughs> you're like, thanks, uncle. He's like, no problem. Let's get out of here. You see, like red and blue sirens. <laughs> Uh, Remember, Marmy never beat me in a park. <laughs> <laughs> park is dangerous, bro. Holy shit. Hell yeah, man. You, you can't go to that park after night. <laughs> but <laughs> I love that guy. I, I don't even know his name, but that guy is definitely top 10. Got a high school characters of all time. <laughs> What's come, Shark? We got it. We know, we know what yeah. that means. That sounds pretty good. Um, God. Uh, so... So they basically set up next episode for this guy's like obviously Jin's gonna go after his grandpa. Yep. Do we know like do we have any guesses like what's like I guess like 
I kinda, I, 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 I'm kind of thinking that um this like for some like his grandpa just like just thinks it's no big deal. He just gotta skip on his own and not gonna meet. I just have this feeling like the grandpa's not gonna meet with Jin for this whole season. But yeah, um, you know how you said, uh, "Will he die?" I said no at first, but I think he might sacrifice himself to transfer a power to Jin potentially. I could see that happening. Because hmm. he currently doesn't have an arm. He has one arm. Yep. But yeah, I think can... if he removes one of his hairs and gives it to Jin, then Jin takes his power. So uh, wrong, wrong anime, uh, wrong anime there. But um, yeah, no, because then we it was the weird part is like we thought this man was invincible, and obviously he's really strong, right? But yep. the fact that he's in such a predicament, he lost his arm, he's tied up. Yeah, I, I feel like a, a sacrifice route might might be on its way. Yep. I mean that, that guy fought a giant godlike sword, so mm-hmm. it's pretty pretty uh, immense power. And like an entire cult too, and uh, still is somewhat alive. Yeah. Oh, speaking of cult, they seriously need that South Park music where it's like people, yep. people <laughs> say like I want to I want to hear that when when, when they come on screen. Wait, that, should on, that should that music should be on every single show that has a cult. Like that is Wait, the, I, what I agree. <laughs> South Park made like a parody of cult people, and then the ominous music that plays when they display them. So they were just like in the background, like hey, people. He will say. It basically sounds like the Final Fantasy song, David. Okay. It's basically yeah, yeah. Was it really, yeah. 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 Okay, I don't yeah, know. Then, then, I thought, yeah, I, I thought you were saying crap song. people at first, but okay. Oh no, no, South Park made their own thing too, and it's awesome. No, no. <laughs> okay, we, I, I'll find a link for it later. Okay. One day. Really good. Yeah. That 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 theme song needs to play for every single called show, <laughs> and it, it fits perfectly. You don't need another one. Don't even try. Yes. <clears> yes. But I mean, that's really all I have. I mean, I I mean, I still like I mean, after like the last episode when they kind of sh- just showed like the commissioner power and stuff and kind of like started drop or no the the episode before that when they just started dro- just dropping kind of like more of like the whole scene like what's going on like there's actually gods and everything else. Mm-hmm. Uh, I I've I mean I've like I've been liking the show like a lot more. It definitely feels like you're like you know it's, like there's more story uh, progression. I like there's more kind of a connection with some of the characters. I still don't. I still feel like like there's like a disconnect with the main characters just because there there hasn't been too much about them, uh, right. for like back like backstory wise, and the, like like I mean but, uh, but we all know that they're they're just going like blazing fast the story like they're skipping probably so much that mm-hmm. um, from it it's where it almost feels like it's kind of taking away from the characters, but I'm but like but I think this is like one of the shows I watch like in, like in, like immediately of the day it comes out just because it's a, a it's it's I mean I I'm really really liking it so i'm worried they're not gonna explain any of the powers before the season ends so oh, God. if not gonna do if not gonna do that then <laughs> at least i want to see more of the commissioners like that the whole lore behind them and and park mugen so at least give me that like at least give me more of the commissioners and because i already don't really care about the, tur- the the tournament arc like in these random schools i wanted to see some broken overpowered people <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I feel like they're or at least like more season. fights, I guess, because I guess we're all, we're here for the fights, and this is why oh, Brian was I Brian was hyped come. up. Uh, I, I feel like they're going to end the season with the tournament ending, and then it's going to lead on to like the key or the the cult. Dude, it just feels the like the tournament season. just doesn't matter. Like I don't feel like any pressure from that tournament. So yeah, it, it doesn't feel like it matters either so. to me. Well, the thing is, because there's so much more that's going on in the background now that yeah. we're seeing, mm-hmm. that it just almost makes it feel like what the hell's the point of the of a yeah. high school tournament. Um, yep. really, yeah, but really the only thing that they've given us for the high school tournament is basically just like they have to be, defeat like the shark guy because obviously he's evil or he seems until evil. Nox shows up because aren't they one of the groups in the tournament? Uh, they? that I'm aware of, it wasn't confirmed that there was a group in there from Nox, but they did I say that sworn. They, I, I, there was I don't like know. a trio. Shoot, I don't remember people. I mean, I can see um, them being I, members like in like in one schools but i don't know i don't know they said that so yeah i yeah, mean those are few those are few sketchy guys but i don't know if they're Knox. i don't uh, remember i don't remember that but i remember though that they were saying that they that Knox is going to interfere in some way that's the one right. thing i remember i don't remember yeah. anything about like a Knox group in the tournament uh but i could be wrong i don't remember that uh well i'm not brian here but i'm sure he could have Oh yes, I got you, man. Hold on. But if I do find it, I'll, I'll show you guys later. But I could have sworn when they've shown all the teams, they showed a picture of just like three hooded guys. I wouldn't be Every, Everyone's wearing a hoodie, man. Come on, now that's the new thing in Korea, bro. Bro, that, that 
or maybe they're from or, or maybe they're from North Korea because apparently North Korea is a thing here too in this universe. So, um, right, really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because they're like, remember they're like the blast. They thought it was from North Korea, but it was really yeah. from Knox. Oh, right. Gotcha. Yep, I do remember that. Yep. So, oh, okay. also another thing too with uh, power levels. Uh, they also showcased Han's power level when he was asking Park about oh, yeah. like how to acquire more uh, or how to acquire Charuk in general. Uh, he's only level nine, so. Yeah. It's he was like level five kind of, earlier, so he's improving. Dude, yeah, that, but not that much. That tells you how broken the commissioners are, because like, yeah. the, 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 the basically like the scout. Well, I'm just gonna call it scouter, like the <laughs> scouter slash limiter. Like, they doesn't even know what level they are. Yeah, that's, uh, like that's like how like how high a level they are. I would assume they're all unknown. I wouldn't. I, I don't think it's just Q. Yeah, I would imagine all the commissioners. Yeah. That's. I think that's why they have limiters in general. Yeah, like uh, I think. Oh crap! There was a picture that I just uh, just looked up, but I mean, like, oh, oh, uh, O's um, like fire dragon, like her, like her ability oh, seems. Oh, like, okay. Yep. Oh yeah, sorry. Like, yeah, chat sent a picture where basically, uh, she's O. Um, the puppeteer is P, and then you know Q. So it's Joker. But... All right. I don't. I think I'm Joker. Joker. Yeah. Anybody so... else? Mm. Other th other than Han asking the Joker guy to teach him how to channel his charter. Oh, yeah. That's actually really cool too. Yeah. Uh, that, that's that's yeah. all we got. So we for sure know that Han's gonna get his soon. Um uh, mm. uh you is gonna probably get hers sometime soon afterwards. And then uh like I would imagine like once Jin rescued his grandpa, he's gonna sacrifice himself to get Jin out somehow and transfer his power over. Like that's what I'm thinking it's gonna become. I'm so. I'm gonna say Jin's not gonna get his thing. Uh, I always like to take, like believe that basically the grandpa's gonna survive, and I don't have to deal with basically like you no know, those, those death moments. Even though this is a this is a manhwa, which they're uh, you know they they love their drama. Okay, <laughs> just because it's Korean. Yeah, I just basically think like it's gonna end up in death. Yeah, like, we're, we already got basically the one where somebody's died of cancer, or is basically cancer. True. Yeah. Which is like, and a someone thing. gets stabbed in the kidney mm -hmm. to be in a wheelchair, but then not in a wheelchair. <laughs> That's true. Oh, don't so, remind me. Oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> but so I don't know. I'm I'm gonna say like the other two are gonna get it, but I don't think I don't think we'll see Jens at the end of this because it seems like almost like kind of like a. I don't know. I I, I don't think it's, we're gonna see it. All right. So. so. That's, that's going to be it for God High School. Um, we're going next to Fire Force. And this episode is basically Olgan. So, because I already like the dude from. He basically went from Unlimited Blade's work to just like straight up like DVZ in this episode. <laughs> so. That guy's awesome. And I, I immediately thought like for a moment that I was like, holy shit, we're actually going to lose like one of the main people. And they just made a joke out of oh. it. I was like, oh, God. Dude, okay, that part was. And that not ruined good. it, did it not? Yeah, that was yeah, not that good. That ruined thought... it for me. Yeah. You know, I, I still think it was a good episode. I thought they bounced back from two really just filler-esque episodes. Um, but yeah, that moment, I was legitimately shocked. I was like, oh, big boy's gone. I'm like, damn, they're showing some depth here. And then they're like, oh, yeah, he probably has a really small body. I was like, oh, God, Fire Force. Yep. So, yep, I completely agree. I was absolutely shocked when it happened. I'm like, oh, my gosh, the weight <laughs> of this moment. And nope. Yeah, that that's was, what I'm uh, saying. Their, their fights uh, have no tension. Yeah, yeah. No, there is tension, but they they just ruin it. They just take it all away for with stupid like jokes like these moments like this. Yep. Yeah. Well, you even, know, okay, it's... even like the whole thing of like like Olgan being badass. He did all his powers, but like nothing's working, and we have to wait for Shinra basically because he's the main character. <laughs> and it's like, mm -hmm. dude, that just that just feels bad. Like, like I don't know. He, like it should the spotlight should have been on Olgan, but because we have to wait for yeah. Shinra, it just feels like none of this matters. Yeah, like Owen's ability just seemed it just seems so cool, and that like it's he basically just, it was just, just him doing it for a while. So you, you think you'd overheat, yeah. but he's, he's he says, "Oh, Shinra, I'm gonna overheat soon." But he did it for yeah. like straight like five minutes, and I get and I guess like because it's a demon, nothing's working. So mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It's that a, it's... Was... Go ahead. No, I was just saying that was a really well animated fight, and it was entertaining, and, and that's when. That's when Fire Force is at its best because it forget it forgets about the story and this. I gotta say the humor attempts are really bad. Like the fan service is really bad. 
the humor like i remember a couple episodes earlier when um it was the captain and vulcan and he's trying to work the gun he's like oh you you gotta press the and i was like oh gosh man so i'm sorry whoever's writing their jokes you gotta find a new job man come on bro well the author he's he's, he's, he's retiring after fire force so the guy hit hit gold basically for the that um that firefighter uh um calendar and that episode was hilarious and that was all he had though I mean, oh yeah, yep. I that's mean, actually the, really the, good the Ar- uh, Arthur jokes are spot on, but it's like oh, yeah. the like, good part. Like the yep. whole thing where this guy, the guy's like, "Oh man, pie!" It's like all this stuff, stuff, stuff. He's like, "By the way, what the fuck is pie?" I was like, "That's the only What's part." I could table. Because yeah, yeah that's, that's that's Arthur. So <laughs> that's the only part I was just like, "Okay, I can I can yep. believe that." But but the rest of it though, like basically, it's just like where you could have definitely built up like that tension with um with Juggernaut ruined it. Yeah, uh, it, it almost feels like whatever like serious moments like this show has, they just make a joke out of it, or uh, or in a sense they try to get they try to get humor out of it. So yeah. it's just like you really can't take the show like serious. It's like every time like we we mentioned it too, where where uh, Shinra he just basically takes like just beatings constantly, constantly like just over and over again. Yet this guy feels like just seems like he never takes a shot. Like it, it, he's able to absorb everything, just bounce back and do it again. Where it just feels like that, where it almost feels like these, like the fights almost don't have any tension. Like everybody just keeps running away from these fucking fights instead of like actually like something happening, somebody dying. Or right, it's, it's just, it's well, like, uh, like, again, like that's like my main, like even with Falco, cool, like yeah, Olgan's fight was again, this it didn't matter because we're waiting for Shinra. Yep. So, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, you're basically just undercutting somebody that just had like a sweet ass ability. And like, it, it made like I'm pretty sure, like, like whatever Shinra does is not gonna be as cool as what Olgan did. So. Well, whatever. No, I, does, I don't know, man. I wouldn't say that. Whatever Shinder does is only going to be w- one second, apparently. Yeah, and that's it. Well, I mean, it's it's anime, so of course, like one second's always like it's 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 always slow. Uh, you only get one second. It's like that's plenty of time. Like that's yeah, that's twenty minutes in our time. So that's that's totally that's, fine. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not worried about the one second, but the only other thing what? is that I'm feet are on fire. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> no, I, you know how he does that little weird like finger sign and then he can you know oh, yeah. the jet out of nowhere the, the jet engine yeah 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 so he's gonna do that he's like that was my second yeah <laughs> his corner maybe best if his feet just like burned off and he's like ah oh, just didn't work like I expected to <laughs> <laughs> fuck fuck no, no. um what what you guys think about? <laughs> what uh what'd you guys think of the uh the, the kind of like the I guess the lore about like the eight keys Ooh, oh, so I got so. a theory man I mean, I'm just gonna mention this real quick that um that because I just I just realized that because they say because they we've been saying pillar this whole time, but in the Japanese word for pillar is Hashira, so I don't know why it it, it it's translated as pillar here, but in Demon Slayer it they're calling it Hashira, so like that's what the does only that mean one. again? Pillar. No, but so Hashira uh, means pillar. Yeah, it means pillar. So I don't know why that we've been saying pillar in Fire Force. We we call it Hashira in Demon Slayer. So what is it called in Pillar? What is it called in uh, Fire Force? Then what? We're saying Pillar. It's still Hashira, but they've translated. So like when you see the subtitles, instead of saying Hashira, it says Pillar. Says Pillar. Oh. Oh. I I think it's just context because I think Hash like if you called those like the top end Demon Slayer court members the Pillars, it was just it just sound weird. Honestly, I'd be like, dude, that's lame. But (laughs) here it makes sense because they're the Pillars of like this activation to society or the destruction of society yeah uh, but yeah i think yeah, i think, cool. I, think I have a sure, similar yeah. view of what's gonna happen so i'll let sasha t- like take over yeah the theory man what is it yeah all right theory this one's not as outrageous and crazy as they usually are but right. i will say this so i think because these adola adala links whatever they are um because they're so damn powerful if you think about it they're pretty much nuclear factories and what's a potential cause of the earth being destroyed nuclear war like that's the one thing everybody wants to avoid so i think what's happening is this uh evangelist right he wants people to go into the heaven wink wink higher being so he wants to unleash the adola links and basically just set destruction to the world but society found a way like at least the good guys did to trap them inside and then use their massive amounts of energy to actually recover the world so i think unleashing this chick because look nothing about that girl says hey i want to let you come outside into the world you, you got that girl with her creepy voice 
one eye that's black, one eye that's white, and she looks like a she looks like a that meme that was going around for a while, like that scary meme. Um, uh, oh, bird face or whatever. S- salad. Fingers. Yeah, bird face girl. Oh, yeah. I forgot her name, oh. but the one oh, that like. Yeah. yeah, Momo or whatever the hell it was. Yeah. Oh, oh my yeah. god, that thing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she she reminds me of that because when I saw that smile, I was like, dude, I just had that weird tingly feeling in my spine. I'm like, oh, you know when you're like pee pee crawls back into your body, you're like, no, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> like, no, wait, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so that that's my theory. I think the big sacrifices are going to be used to destroy the world, um, as opposed to, I, I don't know, this whole white arrow thing. That was pretty cool, though. I like when they explain these things, because you could probably tell that that was used at some point in actual history. So, mm. cool beans, man. Yep, that's uh, basically why the evangelists, or even, even ev- evangelists want the uh, the pillars on, basically just use them as sacrifices to basically blow everything up. Yeah, I think, yes. I, I think we already knew that, like, he, they wanted to blow everything up because... Um, but we didn't know how. Though. They didn't know how, but they keep constantly referring because, like this, this this whole part of the forest, are saying, "Oh, you gotta burn everything to reborn it." And again, we're saying that's how a lot of cults work. They, they just they yep. want to reset the world, so you they want to destroy it first. So, but yeah. so oh, this world's terrible. Let's just blow everything up and reset it. Oh, Try like again. Purge per se. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Hmm. Yes. Yes. I, I'm I'm down as long as I survive. Yeah, I feel. I still feel like this arc or this part is kind of. It's kind of dragging it, on. It, it feels like it. Like we didn't justify coming here. That's the main thing. No, like no, no. the whole thing about like finding like the whole thing like the other like power plant. It just. It's, it didn't feel enough to warrant having all these people come here and taking our attention away. It felt like we could have just left them. We could have let someone else do it and do something else back in back yeah. in Japan. Well, this just feels like it's such an obvious thing. Like, wouldn't like the evan- uh, evangelists know about this as well? Like, it just seems like it's so out. Like, it's just there. Well, they, like it's-, it's not for the evangelists; it's for the, the fire force. They're trying to figure it out. Yeah, I suppose. Okay. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to disagree with you guys on that because um, it's it's nice to think of these things right now when we know the answer, right? But before, when you were kind of just like left with with not knowing anything, I, I think it's this just more than validates them coming there because remember again like they were there for reconnaissance they were just there to gather information figure out what's going on so as long as they they accomplish what they were set out to do i think this more makes up for it i i do feel like they're dragging it on a little bit but i feel as though there is going to be some kind of power up from this as well like with, with shinra um having that one second of grace i think that might have them level up in a certain way uh, but again we have to remember that they're there for to, to gather more information and they, they are accomplishing that so i i think it was worthwhile to come here I just they're just not doing it right i think it's probably because the audience kind of like figures out we kind of can guess from the lore so like from the audience point of view i guess we kind of figured this out so for us it felt like it was kind of like a waste of time but if if it comes out with like shinra like unlocking more powers with the like a doll link then i guess that'd be worth it for him so. It'll, I mean, it'll still be like you know, here academia. It'll still be pretty cool to see like just how strong Shinra is if he actually had the blessing or a blessing. Mm-hmm. Just to basically just see how I don't know if you if you guys saw the the uh, preview. Mm-hmm. I didn't know me, man. I did not. Okay, all right, never mind. No comment. We won't say anything else. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but it'll still be cool. I think. I mean, I, I would assume we're all basically assuming that he's going to get that one second, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. he's going to shove right. his toes at that guy's eyes. Boom. GG. <laughs> nope. Can't come back from that. Nope. It'll still be pretty cool, though. I'm, I hope that. I'm, like, hope I'm they expecting, like, of course, it's going to be all overpowered. So I'm expecting the whole forest to burn, just like how Sasha wanted. Oh, God. <laughs> yes. Yes. A talking Mo. Fuck. No. Turn it off. <laughs> I guess. Oh, well, not do what he wants. It's, yeah. These, these animals with their scarves. Get out of here. Dude, I. I, I <laughs> you wouldn't want I'm that like, guys. <laughs> As a pet? Yeah. Hell no, that most sounds so annoying. Like, he seems okay when you're out there, but you come home with that guy, he start complaining. Because look how lazy they are. They are literally begging that lady for everything. Because he said it. He's like, I know you already saved our lives or anything, but we still need your help. Like, dude, get out of here. It's like those homeless people you give $5 to, and they're like, you got some more, man? Come on, man. Change. Like, dude, Spare change. Spare change. Yep. Spare change. <laughs> change your face. Um, so, yeah, it's... It, 
I don't know, man. I, I this is what I would do. I would uh, poison the berries that they all eat in the woods, <laughs> oh. and be like, "Hey, <laughs> let's form a pile here, guys. This nice pile will keep you warm instead of the fire." And they're like, "Okay, drop the bomb on them, <laughs> and then get out of there." So you, and, you had me with the purge, <laughs> and then you lost me. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. That, that's usually how it goes, man. Um, oh. Okay. Yeah, but I honestly I can't say I was not entertained. I I liked tattoo guy. Although all his antics I get it, they're not pointless because he's stalling, but they're still mm-hmm. pointless. It would have been so much better if like like this was Rock Lee versus Gara and he was unlocking one of his gates and you're like, Oh my gosh, this this is gangsterific. You know this is gonna cost them afterwards. But nope, nope. It's just this is just hey, this is for the sake of stalling. So that's the part of Fire Force that's just oh, he got a hand through his chest. Oh, he has a really small body. He wears layers. But like, they oh. could have also had the moment too, where basically with Ogun's power up, they could have also just kind of gone like just a, a different route, where they basically like, Ogun beats the guy, and they're just kind of like you know just you know do something else or something, or or if something else shows up, and then you know Shinra then has to get like a power up for that. But at least right. like almost make like Ogun's like his, you know like his ability like make it have like more of a meaning instead of just stall. So I'm really that hoping that like he gets another chance to actually like make a count, where actually like kill someone with his power up. So David. So far, we have Tamaki that has not redeemed herself, and now we have Ogu that I hope can redeem himself. I mean, but it's not, not, not really redeemed, but like I hope like he doesn't get screwed over like he's doing King right now. So right, yeah, they have some sort of meaning with for his character. But they mean Tamaki uh, none. So can, can, can we, we need some Ogu fan service? Can we just have him change his like his power name, Flamey Ink? Flamey, I, Flamey Ink. That, <laughs> I could not take that shit seriously. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> Flame the ink, and then they have that, that, that cut out. <laughs> it's like, hey man, what is this? Dude, shit? I don't know, some, some sort of like comic book throwbacks. I don't know. He, you know, it was hard in prison for him, man. Like, <laughs> he had to find a way to defend it himself. I can't believe Flame the ink think it's all badass and shit. It's like, nah, fam. <laughs> See, maybe it's not badass because it's English, because you know, maybe it's, it's a lot cooler in Japan. Probably. Nah, man. But... <laughs> I don't know how you're gonna say that shit. You know that they still got up in his ass in prison when he came up with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, shit. He's still badass, but no, we gotta change his name, dude. Yeah, yeah that's a good point, Coop. <laughs> but but uh, I'm guessing though that, that the next episode is like the final episode of this arc. I hope. Yes. We all like, hope. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's yeah. a there's a part in the opening that I really hope we get to in this season, so Oh god! I don't, well, we, well, I mean, isn't this? They already confirmed what twenty four episodes, right? I, I don't remember. I think it was, yeah, sure. uh, but I don't remember. Well, I'll, uh, I'll, yes, twenty four episodes. Okay, yeah. So yeah. there's one part in the opening that I really hope we get to. I think you enjoy too, Stratton. So do you think we'll get to it in the first twelve episodes though? Because we have three probably, episodes probably left. Not. So yeah, we have two episodes left then outside of this arc, and which I assume is just going to be used to set up the next, next arc. one. Yeah. So we'll see it. Maybe or they'll the next do or they'll do filler, so we'll see. Oh boy, I don't, I don't think they'll do filler. Yeah. But they need they need that boy Jiminy Rockets to die, man. They... Jiminy Rockets, Juggernaut, whatever. Juggernaut, thank you. I know someone's a J. I just couldn't remember. For the... Jiminy Rockets is his name. <laughs> I will take Jiminy Rocket. I like how this guy has like his ability seems so OP, but at the same time, this guy just says, "Oh, he basically just does it because he's scared." Yeah. Well, it's yeah. like, uh, I don't know if you guys remember, at the end of season one, when they're in the tunnel and they get separated, they all have to fight certain members of the KKK. Mm. And they sent out that one guy who's supposed to be extremely badass, and he can mm. shoot like torpedoes made of fire or bullets, like giant bullets. But they end up killing him like right away. They just hit him like a frying pan. It was that was pretty comedic. I thought that was well-timed. Oh, yeah. But like that guy, his like projectile, you think would be OP? Nope. Ogun with his arrow projectile... Oh, you can defeat the putties like in Power Rangers, but you can't touch this guy at all. So anybody yeah. with projectile seems like Dude, no boy. I mean, yeah. only the blades work, man. That, yeah, that's why I already liked him before, but yeah. But then he just powers up to his his yeah his flamey ink. Yep, <laughs> flamey ink. I, I just like I just want to see more the, the, the flaming swords with unlit blades work. I think I think he's gonna be done though. I'm sure he's gonna be burned out. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. Well, because like, because it's going because like they keep saying like, oh, like, like I I got power up and stuff and make it count because otherwise it just sounds like he's gonna do it forever and then just again breaks that that 
power illusion. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, I, I still think that. I mean, I still like all everything. Even though I'm, I'm getting like you know, just shitting on it, like I'm still just uh, like I don't really take the show as like a serious show. It's definitely like uh, action first, and then kind of like you know story element second. Which they're they're which I'm actually kind of interested with like what they're you know what they're actually showing or talking about. Mm-hmm. Uh, still, but I, I just want to be done with this arc though because it, it David like how you mentioned it does feel like it's uh like it's just kind of almost pointless. In I think because the audience kind of knew like where. The story is headed, so yeah. Yep. I got nothing else. Hi. You guys? Yes. Yes. Hi. Yes. Nope. We'll find um, out more about Hi. Yes. Maybe. Right. So that's going to be it for Fire Force. All right. And then we're going to move on next to ReZero. So this show, man, like the fucking cliffhangers, I can't handle it. Like, cool. Like, it doesn't, it's not, it's not fulfilling my needs. Like, I need more than this. To be fair, this wasn't really a cliffhanger. It was more of just a satisfying ending to one arc. The arc of being able to tell someone that you've been dying and coming back to life every single time. I mean, that's not an end, man. We still have so much shit to, like... He just said that once, and then no, he it's, to, like... It's, we're... No, but it, it, it kind of is, though, like, for, for Subaru himself. Because he was in so much pain. Uh, I think he's tried, what, two or three times to tell people that he has the ability to die and go back in the past constantly? Multiple times, yeah. Right, and this is the first time he's ever been able to tell someone that. So now he's able to share his pain, share his experience, and it's probably the best candidate too. You know, you're talking to the witch of greed, right? Yeah. So and she wants to listen to you and listen to everything that you have to say. So, like, yeah, it's a cliffhanger in a sense, but for Subaru, this is like an end to one of his uh, search for wanting to tell to someone or talk to someone and tell him his secrets. So, so let's let's go back. Let's back up a little bit to like the beginning part when um. He has to deal with, like, Garfield and, like, just <laughs> basically fucking up everyone. And then... Yeah, you know you know how I was telling you that uh, since he was a half-blood and not a, like, quarter-blood, like, Frederica, he was probably a lot stronger? Like, this guy was incredibly strong. I well, think he... It's like everyone's human, too, and, like, Ram couldn't do anything either, so it's not like anyone had a chance anyways, even if he was quarter-blood. Yeah, I suppose, but even then, it's it just shows that he has a lot more power than than anyone else there currently so um yeah and then with everything that happened all the humans died Seeing fucking auto, auto died <laughs> yeah auto getting ripped in half and then oh dude and the part where he got see i i still don't know if it's because of the um like the blue gemstone or whatever but yeah, that, part, yeah, that, 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 that part confused me too so i want to see yeah. your take on it yeah there has to be a reason why it does that because it happened to like it happened to them when they were first arriving too. And when it transported him in that temple, he didn't like arrive in a different season. He was, it was the same time zone or time frame. Yeah. So I'm not sure how that actually works. But oh yeah, and then that part in general with the rabbits, who That was fucked up. Was, was fucked That's up. far like well, the most fucked up way he's died so far. Yeah, like for some reason, he's not dying instantly, even with his body being torn apart. Well, because like just when, you, that... when you're losing blood, you're still conscious. You're just slowly bleeding out. So. Right. But yeah, that's that. Has that been the worst way he's died so I'm far? Pretty sure it. Has. I mean, like, I mean, I'm thinking back to like to Witch's Call and Beetle Yeast, like torturing him. But uh, uh-huh. I like this one. I feel like it's way more painful because he's getting like he's getting eaten alive compared to like other times where. He would get cut, and then he would slowly lose consciousness. But this time, he's like he's feeling the pain as he's losing mm-hmm. consciousness. Whereas I think yeah, other times he's just like he's slowly going numb from like the blood loss. Mm-hmm. Guys, so. this sounds terrible. That's it, zero, it, man. It was pretty. It was pretty bad. It's probably the worst one I've seen from this whole series. Oh, so, but I guess the thing that that made it not as bad was it reminded me of like uh, the Monty Python reference or that the bunny from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. <laughs> so i was like oh man i wonder if that's like when i first saw the rabbit like i knew something was weird right but i was like i wonder if this is gonna be like a killer rabbit and it was and it was <laughs> like a shit ton of rabbits and all i could think of was oh man if you had a holy grenade <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> like, you, you would be set but yeah i'm so. gonna just jump in but it sounds like it sounds like a kid in his new waifu she is she yeah, is basically Checking. it sounds like it would be my favorite mm-hmm I mean, she's she's like the only one that's done anything because like, because I mean, because I mean, because Rem's you know in a coma, 
Amelia is like useless. She's, I mean, I still like Amelia, but she's been like she's like even more useless than she usually is because like you know in the first season she's usually doing other stuff. Here she just cannot like finish the trial and everything's being like held up by her. And then Ram is like she's fine, but she's still pretty weak. So like Aketna is like yeah, basically the best go right now. Half witches, been- man. She's basically everything that he's been looking for, to be honest. I mean, she looks kind of like Amelia. She does, she's actually yeah. useful, yeah. right? Um, she's able to listen to him without like getting his heart torn out. Yeah, without any repercussions. But yeah, and then the the faces she makes, the expressions she she has, and like her her personality when it switches over to the um like the the shy type, I guess. Whenever it's too, it's too close or it's too forward, yeah. like just perfect in every aspect there's so. like yeah there's more to her character than i thought she'd be because i remember i remember just remember like watching the pv when it showed a up for the first time and it made it look sinister mm-hmm. so i thought mm-hmm. like i had this image of like just the witches being like the main like villains in mm-hmm. this series but it seems like there's definitely more to like their characters and religion were but to believe and we saw that we see the kenna too like because she always has the super serious side of how She's she's a witch, so she's super powerful, and she 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 knows a lot of things. But at the same time, too, where she's like pretty normal, so like yeah, she's just a girl like everyone else. So you know? like she has a feminine side. So I'm really I, I'm really interested in seeing like more of her, just because like yeah, just because like they de- I, they definitely like fleshed out like the witches, or at least like with the Ketna. just her in general. Yeah. yeah so I I I pray to God. I just really hope that this isn't like some kind of setup and in the end she just completely does a 180 and just, just fucks over fucks Subaru. Ship. Like I the really big, hope the, that's the, not the case. The biggest debate. I wasn't even thinking kind of, I wasn't even thinking about that, but <laughs> Isn't it Is kind it, of hard to do that though because like she knows like everything so like it's like how does she actually like fuck him up? She could be I lying. Mean, she could be like lying to Subaru cuz he doesn't know. That's yeah. Or like, tricking just, him. So because like like David said, right in the very beginning, it's kind of uh, it's kind of expected that she was a sinister person, right? She's a witch. Like, I'd imagine all witches are bad, but it's because um, everyone is so afraid of Satelia. So we had this image of like the witches just being bad, right? And so, but then like we think about how like I kind of th- I mean I still believe Akena when she says that like Satelia killed all the other witches. So maybe mm. she was just a t- Satelia was like the only bad one out of the group. Yeah, so, really. but but that but I mean that's that's that relies on believing Akedna. So that's why we have your situation, Ku, where she's just like just manipulating Subaru this whole time. I hope not, dude. So. Oh, she's the perfect wife. Would please <laughs> don't do this. Is, is it kind of like the situation like a Jibriel, where like uh, you know all she wants is knowledge, and basically she can get like unlimited Kinda. knowledge with Subaru because I mean Subaru can just basically go through something, then die, then. Yeah. You can just tell a kid now about it before it actually. I don't. I mean, I have. I don't. I haven't watched. I'm it. pretty sure she knows. Like she probably read his memories because when he when he did the trials, and he had to like face his past. I'm pretty sure she saw all of his memories. And then I mean, she, uh, even she, better, she she's just been watching him in general this whole time. Yes, because even she even said like she knows like all his like his his death loops. So mm-hmm. what a stalker. Yes. I mean, if you found someone that can die, you go back in the past constantly. That's that's pretty interesting, right? So I wouldn't mind watching them. Yeah. But, so okay. like so I think I think yeah I think a lot of her character is like because she's which agreed and she just wants to know knowledge like I think that's mm-hmm. like basically her main goal she just wants to know things. Yeah, it's uh, I'm because especially with greed, greed there's such a negative stigma to to attach to the word greed. So I was kind of thinking that yeah she was a bad person, but yeah, maybe it'll be like uh, Trinity Seven where um <laughs> like, like that one girl. Right, it's like lust, the opposite, right? Like where yeah, they're going to do the opposite of it yeah. to try to like balance it out, I guess. So maybe it's kind of the same interaction, but dude, Amelia is such a wife, or not Amelia, uh, fucking Echidna is such a waifu. <laughs> oh, I hope they, I hope they, they, they keep it this way. I just really hope they keep it that way. Uh, but that no, but also with that being said, there's there's a lot that has to be answered here too, right? If she's seen everything, she knows everything up to this point. Obviously, she's got to have some kind of plan, right? Like there has to be something that happens now since it's it's all spilled out. Um, so it's even more like there, there, like the there's even more possibilities of like different arcs popping up or different missions that they have to do in a sense. Oh my god! Objectives. Even though we have so much loose ends, we need to tie up. Right. It's just open up more and more loose ends. So, so I I really don't know how they're going to close out. 
this this first part and then yeah what they plan to put in the second part because like we have like what four or five episodes left so we are this half first half is coming up fast and so yeah i mean, I guess that's one thing about the show like I, I just really enjoy the lore so i don't mind them doing this like i just i really enjoy the lore of, of this world i think the writer did a good job on that but um yeah. But yeah, that's just like just yeah, makes you think like like what what is like her main like goal or what's her purpose in this story? Because like she just you know kind of showed up out of nowhere. So I don't know if mm-hmm. like if, like if Super actually like he accidentally stumbled upon her or she like purposely set that way or if someone set up Super to meet up, meet up with her. So like these are things I'm just wondering, like mm-hmm. along mm-hmm. with the many other questions. Like um, because I think because also so I should, should bring up that um. That Super was talking to Roswell too about the uh, Beatrice, and again, like he was, Be- uh, Roswell was like giving him clues as so like what he should say to her when he meets her. So I think it's like again, like more of him, like he knows something about Subaru about like, not like I don't know if he knows about like the 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 the, the death loops, but he knows he definitely knows something about like Subaru. Well, if this book of truth or whatever is 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 truly as. Um like potent as they say it is then i'm sure they knew of subaru and what he can do we just haven't got there so, yet. like i'm sure once he goes back and talks to beatrice everything will be laid out so like even though like i, I always call like roswell sketchy and stuff like somehow i believe him when he says that um beatrice was not part of the cult like i i don't want i don't think beatrice is like yes yeah, i don't think she's part of it i i think there's something else going on here but like but we have we have to like hear it from Roswell, and he was like unreliable. So, like, I just I really want to believe him because I don't want to believe that like Beatrice would like be like someone like either willing or like, unwillingly like be part of the, the witch's cult. So no, uh, they they should have uh, with the episode before this with how sincere Beatrice was towards Subaru that one time. I I think that kind of like clears her name. Like she's probably a good guy. Yeah, kind of like but, I work with Roswell, but again, like we don't know for sure. So, and we, right, we don't know if she's like maybe she's like unwilling, like yeah, unwilling, or she doesn't think that like helping like the witch's call is like is anything bad because she probably because you know like if you're if you're not human, you probably see like human like interaction, human problem is like as like uh like a neutral thing. So, but like i still i still think he's sketchy and i'm totally with super when he's like dude if you fucking lie about this i'm gonna punch you in the face i'm like hell yeah super you oh, tell him yeah big words coming from a guy who can't do shit but die <laughs> um but yeah yeah i mean dude i i'm totally with super and like and not trusting roswell fuck that guy yeah no like, like i said i totally get it but uh based on the impressions that we're being given it's they they seem to be trustable so so um we won't know until they finally talk to beatrice but, uh, but yeah, but, I mean, I think those are like the the, the major points, right? There was. I mean, the only other thing, right the only other thing I want to say is just like going back to last week's episode where I was saying like it's like I can't like I want the plot to move forward, so it's nice we're bringing this backstory and lore. But like, but like I was I was complaining last week how again we go through another death and now we have to we we loop back to the beginning again to to the first part and then like. He gets summoned to a Ketna right away, so like, I'm hoping this loop like will get something to deal with Elsa, so then we can come back here and deal with the two other trials. Like, I don't want him to die again in this another loop. I mean, at this point, we don't know. I wonder if they're going to make this part just like they're just going to open up all the possible arcs or different cases that he has to solve. And then just end the first part with a giant cliffhanger. And then with part oh, two, okay. you're gonna spend all of part two to just solve all these different like problems that they have. Like I there, we, there's there's no way that they're gonna be able to close everything within this first uh, season. My or God. first part. Do you think we're not gonna like we're not even gonna like deal with like the archbishops and like not even like get Rem like back in this first season? Right. Like unless they rush everything, there's no way. Especially with how they ended this episode, right? You did not need to have like such a like tearjerker moment at the end. You did not need to have it like shown that like Akina's known everything from the start. She's been watching him from the beginning, and now she wants to listen to his story or listen to what he has to say. Like at at the very least, the next episode there's going to be maybe either like some back 
story. There's going to be like just filler. Um, like I don't think anything's going to progress in the next episode unless, like I said, they rush everything and just close, like try to close everything with within these next episodes. Like next episode, close off the echidna thing. Episode after that, they uh, they solve the mansion arc. Episode after that, they they solve the barrier thing or the trials. And at the very last episode, they they resurrect uh, Rem somehow. Like there's there's only like what four episodes left in this part. Yeah, and there there's no way they can solve everything by by the end of this part one uh, season. This is what I'm telling you, man. These cliffhangers and like, and I need to know more about the story. So, and the only other thing I want to bring up too is how um Super was saying like I want to remember what we had this conversation here, and I'll pay the price. So I wonder if that's gonna fuck him up or. If like the price is gonna be too heavy for him, so we'll see. Mm, I think it'll be fine now, just because uh, Echidna's managed to like reinforce his soul in a sense, so he wouldn't lose his mind from, um, from what he's been going through. So I think he should be okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's it for me, I believe. And then the final thing, just for our you degenerates out there who enjoy Subaru drinking that tea that came from Echidna's body fluids. Like, I don't know why I have to bring that up, but I like to like mention that. But I guess it's for all you degenerates out there. Hopefully, that was an attack on me, but that's okay. <laughs> no, I'm just saying it's just really weird how. Okay, like, no, no, I just started out there because no, like, you uh, call us degenerates all the time. <laughs> I'm just saying, like the first. I remember it, they mentioned the first time he went in there talking about that, yeah. like how the tea is from her body fluids. I brush it off, and then she said that again. I was like, oh my god, I totally forgot about that, but. I can totally tell there were people who were, who definitely enjoyed that. Uh, it's, it's kind of a given. You don't really need to so, question if that was the thing or not. I didn't have to call it out. Man. So so that's going to be for ReZero this week. <laughs> we're going to move on next to Snafu. Oh, man. So <laughs> I just want to say, first of all, this was a really weird episode. Like, the way that the whole drama just ended with the prom, like... Supposedly, dude, I'm telling you, man, this prom arc is sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess so. I remember Stratton, you were hating on the mom a bunch, and it just turns out she didn't even care about the prom. She's she's playing the politician. It's because other people cared, but they didn't want to deal with it, so it made her deal with it. So yep, just pointless, dude. I'm telling you, that whole part was just stupid. <laughs> it, it's just oh god, so, it's really realistic. Like, it, it sure. is realistic, though. So sure. I mean, sure. it kind of makes me wonder too. Like, if there's supposed to be more and got cut out from light, like from the light novel, or this is how it actually happened. Like, it just it felt like it was way too easy just to do the plan and just like convince the mom and then the PTO about changing everything. Like, I could have looked up. Like, I could have looked on Reddit for this stuff, but I assume we should really like once this like season or the whole show is done we should probably just do like a separate episode where we just basically just kind of go through it the whole thing like after we go on reddit spoil whatever parts that may have been missed and try to like really talk about it um maybe okay maybe all right i'll take that has taylor yeah. read all of it like no all the, no okay because no. i think we would probably also need to read the the light novel well that's why so that's like that's why i'm gonna go on reddit the, we're looking at spoilers reddit. from right. yeah. the light novel what? readers yeah Talking about after this, well, not, not not yeah, not, not, not now. now. When everything's done, yeah. <laughs> when everything's done with the show, then we go look. Yeah, no, I totally get what you're saying. I'm not reading the book. Yeah, oh, <laughs> okay, besides that. that, besides that, but no, I totally get what you're saying. Yeah, so. but so when that when it happens, sure. Uh, I've been very, I've, I've just been kind of disappointed, just disappointed, just in general with this arc. I just, like, I just the whole thing, problem thing. I was like, like uh, how everybody knows, I don't, I don't yeah. care. Anyway, that's, okay, that's we'll what's bother you. Okay, We've talked about it before. Um. But then, uh, the, kind of like the ending, kind of like how uh, I think I don't know if people kind of like uh, expected it to happen because it's just like I, I just feel like the, the the show is like going towards like the path where obviously it's gonna be it's gonna be Hachiman and Yukino, but then they kind of throw in this wrench and basically says like, oh, I want you to you know um, grant Yui's wish. I'm thinking, oh, God, why? What's the point of this? Because it's gonna just like be some stupid thing. I I just think Hachiman will realize something and then go to Yukino. That's just like what I feel like. I'm thinking, dude, writer, you're better than this. Like, why you gotta basically be like just basic like everybody else? So yeah, that, I'm just assuming. That's what I'm just assuming. No, that, that's totally how it's gonna go because I, I think with with the decision of Hachman just getting up and leaving, that's totally like uncharacteristic of him. After all that he's done and 
things that he said to people like, oh, you know, it's I, I'm doing this for me. It's man's pride, you know, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I, I knew I knew that you know was going to say something like that. Right. Yeah. And and try to like end a relationship that way. But I thought that Hachiman was going to actually counter back saying like, like, no. Right. Like, I want you. I'm doing this all for you. And I don't care if, if people like uh, title this this relationship that we have as like a codependency, but I'm OK with that. I was kind of hoping for like some kind of like comeback to to get them to be together, but the man just takes it and ups and leaves. And I thought that was really uncharacteristic of him. Like I did not expect that at all. Yeah. So I was I, actually kind of disappointed. Yeah, I feel the same way. Yeah, like I really wanted him to like to like like say like no and just like so. I'm hoping it's something. I mean, I don't like it, but I'm hoping the only other way to establish is just to him. Just go like Yui and say I can't grant you wish and go back to Yukino. That's the only thing that's right. that's I would fair. like. Yeah. But that I mean that's just like being that's just solving the problem that you created. So like, but then that yeah. that launches another problem too, though, with Yui. Like, what if this gives like the Yui ship like fandom? It gives them hope, and it just makes it even <laughs> worse for Yui. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, person are fools. The thing is, Yui's going to realize it though, because she already like like already seems like she kind of knows like the whole situation what's happening and right. it's going to be something's going to basically just you know yui's going to realize it yui's going to say something and or the hachiman's basically going to say something and just go back to yukino basically all the steps that are in every single other one of these shows it just sounds like it's going to follow like the exact same steps and i'm just disappointed it's I'm just, it's just it's just typical now uh so i don't know this this episode i'm like oh christ it's gonna we're gonna it's it's i mean it's, i still want to hold out hope that something's going to like there, there's going to be some sort of twist. Something's going to be different. It's going to blow my mind, but I just don't think it's going I'm to. I'm really worried because we, because yeah, we have like, we're heading to like the last month of the season. And it's like, what do you got to do with these last like couple episodes? Like, please don't drag us out. Yeah. Did you guys watch the preview? Should we talk mm-hmm. about the preview? Wasn't I did. There, wasn't there like a, a more an extra scene at the end? Or am I remembering wrong? Uh, no, I think it was just no, a preview. No, okay. just a preview. Did you watch it, David, or no? I don't, I don't remember what the preview was then. So. Okay. Uh, we'll talk. We'll just talk about it next week then. Okay. We won't yeah. say anything here. Yeah. So because so, it was, I don't know. Because it, it just seeing the preview made it seem like like I just like I just got the feeling like this is how like how it's going to end up happening, and I just, and then I just felt just disappointed. But but it's okay. They have they have enough episodes or time to turn it around, right? To salvage it. Dude, right? I will always hold hope for this show until the last possible <laughs> second. Like you remember uh, saying yesterday for me, David. <laughs> like I'm really hoping that they don't do that. Oh, same I was gonna say, like you, you, right? you're, you're not making like me, me like you're making me nervous there, Koo, when you brought that up because <laughs> you know it really, it, it really fell apart that last episode. So I'm hoping, right? So I'm really hoping that this doesn't become the same <laughs> so thing. I was hoping you're like gonna, I was hoping you weren't gonna say like oh like it'll probably be like that where it falls apart the last episode, like. Uh, you know, you and them like realizes they're not meant to be together, and then he goes after y- Yukino instead, and then she just takes them or whatever without any like uh, kind of conversation or arguments, and she's like, you know what, fuck it, whatever. But what if they just become friends? I mean, that's fine too. But Ooh, okay, like, nice. just just do it in a way where it's like satisfying, right? Don't just rush it and then have have you like leave the series on a on a bad note, right? Like it was such a huge build up. We waited like what five years for this to come out since yep. season two. You know, like don't make us wait for all this shit and then not have like a decent closure. Like pick someone. If you do not pick someone, <laughs> like you just said you're okay with well, being friend. Technically, no, with, 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 you can know, but then like what if he was with someone else, right? There like even with Iroha, who like whoever, but there has to be closure somewhat, you know. What what if they just become friends during? Uh, we've mentioned this many times. What if they're just friends through high school? It says like like two years or three years later, and he's just like he's with the teacher. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm okay. totally okay right. with that, right. especially right. if it's with the teacher. Okay. But like, if if he doesn't end up with you, you know, it's fine. If he doesn't end up with Yui, it's fine. But there there has to be it has to be done. I think well. the series deserves like like well or like a perfect ending, like especially the the Hachiman's character. Like he's gone through so much, and I feel like he's evolved so much throughout these uh, like. Uh, these past three seasons, like I, I think he deserves, he deserves better than so, how I feel like this is going. So what if it's like the Toradora ending, where he's basically going for the like you know like the redheaded chick, and she's just like she's just like this isn't what you want, and then he's like you're right, and then goes the other way. What if it's what some dumb thing like that? 
that's what I'm afraid of. It's going to be. It's basically going to be like you know he's going to be kind of like he's going to be with Yui and stuff. Yui's going to send something off, or Hachiman's going to send something off, and he basically says like this isn't this isn't right, and then goes the other way. And it's just like oh, uh, I can't. I really like, I still think I can't it's see that, that, but like I can't rule it out either. So like don't I know because <laughs> the end of this episode made it feel like I immediately got vibes. I was like shit, this is the one right. thing I didn't want right. to happen. And then getting, getting PTSD. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Even though I was fine, like for some reason, like in Toradora, like it was fine. Like I was, I was fine because with that. Because Toradora, like you, you knew, like there. Oh yeah. It was. It's cliche, so you knew that's what's gonna happen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the thing is, like Taiga, like Taiga, and that got so much airtime. This one, Yui's getting a bunch of airtime as well. So they basically have like two, like huge options or two uh, challengers or rival, whatever you want to call mm-hmm. it. And then so it makes it like more kind of. I guess difficult or not really knowing because they're mm-hmm. giving a lot of airtime to Yui now. All of a sudden, like, but it seems like out of nowhere. Yeah, I mean, if I didn't know any better, it feels like they're trying to ship Yui and Hachiman. So and they're going to just rip it away and basically go to Yuki now. Yeah. So, so even though I still think that's what's going to happen, but it's just like, like, if that happens, like, just do it. even though I'm afraid of, like, no matter like what it's going to end up being now, it's just going to be like that kind of ending. That's just the vibe I get, but I mean, whatever. I'm just or, repeating. My, I'm just repeating myself now. Yeah. Or there's the, there's the other possibility of truck. You're a hot. Oh my good old truck. <laughs> you and your damn trucks. <laughs> Wait, oh, okay, that, that's the uh, sing for me, or sing yesterday for me. No, no, no. Just in general, like usually, oh. like one of the main heroines get killed off by a truck. And so he, then the other choice is is uh, yeah. Hey, I'm yeah. telling you, like I still keep feeling like the whole thing with Hachiman's like if it's going to be two choices, you know, they will pick one, even if it's like basically not the two choices he wants. I just keep thinking like that. There's still that like that kind of like piece where I think like there's maybe a chance of that where like for, something goes in Hachiman's mind or something happens where he basically realizes he he just you know he just wants it to be friendship and not actually anything else. Mm-hmm. Like there's still like that feeling where there's like that you know that other future option that's not there or something. Like basically just because it seems like it's Yui and Yukino, but it's basically where it seems like he has two options. But just because he's given those two options doesn't mean he has to pick one. Yeah. I, I, I just so I feel like there's still that that element there too but i don't know that's why uh, <laughs> so. i'm i'm gonna believe in hachiman and i believe he won't drag this out and he'll go after yukino and they don't but, do it in a terrible way but i can see it like i can see yukino pushing away too so it's just man i'm just making it worse for myself but the only thing i want to mention be- i just want to mention that um like when they were talking in the room together the service like club room again just bringing back some of that season one vibe where again like like these two people like they don't have they they don't have friends they don't know how to be social so like again like they have to so like so like you you, talk, you hear Yuki was saying how like she like she really like miss, miss she likes the club because like she realizes like this is the first time she's ever done any of this with friends just because and then and you know you see Hachiman's character where like he like he he was like so like he, he lacked self confidence so that's why he always had to play like the edgy like loner even though he always wanted friends too so that's why I really enjoy th- these two as a pairing like like them realizing what like to find these social and like like learning like social skills so like it was really really nice seeing that and this yeah. just in general like to even like going back last episode where I was you know explaining how. Um, one of the guys from the gaming club. He was from. He was the little sis, the little brother of the other girl from season one. It just reminds me. It was just like the the nice vibes from season one, where Hachiman really like, where he really called out like people on their BS and stuff. And hmm. like, I, I'm hoping Hachiman follows his own advice and like does the things he needs to do, and like stop being. He's he's always criticizing other people for being fake and like doing things to fit in. And like, I hope he takes his own advice and like, and says what he needs to say to you. You know, Hachiman has changed so much. Changed so much. Like he's actually like these these last few episodes where you see where he's actually reaching out for a bunch of people, asking for help. Yeah. When normally, like before, he was doing it all on his own. He wasn't reach, he wasn't saying anybody. He kept it all to himself. He was basically just t- like letting a bunch of people know like what was up, and actually yeah. reaching out. And then, which was a you know huge difference. We don't even know what Yukino did because it just always seemed like it was just her doing her own thing, and yeah. not like really asking for help. Or, yeah. or, or no, he, yeah, she asked for uh, that blonde dude's help. What's the guy's name? Hayato, I think. Yeah, yeah. Like Hayato, they, they Hayama. Yeah, they, well, mess, they mentioned that. 
it, it wasn't really her. It was more the student council in general. So oh, gotcha. maybe maybe it wasn't just her. But right. Uh, but basically, they kind of just ruled out that everything went according to Hachiman's plan, like always. And you can all expect like, that. So this, just ep her this episode, it like they didn't do yeah. it. like uh, we need more like context and just like just suddenly ending it. So they sh they should have. I don't know how much material like they need for the. Season, you know, like, like, but like, this like, is one, like Soren said, this is like an important thing they should have like had an extra episode for or something. Or no, it's like Soren said, this prompt shit was stupid anyway, so it's <laughs> fine as long as they give themselves enough time for like the the ending. I I'm totally fine with this. God, fuck, fucking be... Iroha, man, she started this stupid prompt shit. This is what else, <laughs> man. I tell you, this is all her fault. For all like from season two, when when she didn't, when she should have just let Yukino be student council president. <laughs> Would have been easy, but I'm yeah. telling you, I'm telling you, Kuli, the ending uh, is going to end up being where it's Hachiman's going to go back to Yukino, and Yukino is basically going to be saying something back. Hachiman's going to counter, and it's going to be just like the, the typical. But that's why. I mean, to be honest with you, this really? past year, no. year and a half, like these 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 endings have just been ruined for me. There's so many different possibilities of how they can fuck this up. I'm just waiting to see which scenario they pick for me. Is it going to be a, is it going to be the truck killing someone? Is it going to be like thing yesterday for me? Is it going to be some kind of like cop out where they're all just friends and live happily ever after? You yes. know, it's it's I don't I know. Mean, I mean, <laughs> to be fair for the thing yesterday for me, it's like it was a pairing that we expected, just like the way they did it was just not good. So Right, but that could be said about this too. Like, yeah. like what the hell is Hachiman doing? Right? I mean, he doesn't know what he wants or what he's doing. He's basically just following. What no, he's no, that because that completely contradicts how he's he feels. grown. Right? How right, how it yeah, feels yeah. like he's grown this this whole season. Like this whole season has been him like stepping outside of his comfort zone and doing things that people would have never expected of him. You know, but like I said, we'll we'll see. We'll we'll see. We will but, see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the only other thing, the only other thing, just a dumb thing, I'll just mention too. When they were taking pictures in the beach, dude, it's it's winter, it's December in Japan. The water is for like forty degrees. It's fucking cold. What are you guys doing? I mean, it wasn't snowing, so it can't it's be that bad. Forty right? degrees, man. They're here hypothermia from that water, especially especially in Japan, where forty yeah. degrees is cold. You know what? For art, you do whatever you can, sir, for that perfect picture. <laughs> if only they knew what cold was. Yeah, they have Hokkaido. This is Tokyo, so. Oh, I, I I don't know what the difference is, but Hokkaido is like it's like the Minneapolis of or like the Minnesota of Japan, where it's super cold and up north and like you know a bunch of snow. Well, I didn't see any snow this time, yeah. so. Well, like they're in Tokyo, yeah. it really snows in Tokyo. Oh right, right. It just gets so. like like forty, thirty-five degrees, and maybe some snow, but that's just it. But that's just like something I just want. Mention, no worries, There's man. Nothing important to the show. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I guess that's it for Snafu. Please don't disappoint. That's all we ask. Please, we all know the ending. Just throw it. Just give it to us. <laughs> don't make it. Just don't make, don't make it generic and stupid, please. But I'm ready. My body is ready. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm already. I'm already expecting it. So just yeah. just do it. <laughs> just rip the bandit off. So that's it for Snafu. We're gonna move on to Sword Art. So again, man. I need. Ku and Tren to, to be the hype man for me because oh boy, I don't know. Actually, I'll, uh, I will say I am so surprised that I actually finished the fight in one episode. Yeah, like, they did all this stuff in one episode. I was like, wow. They they did it all in one episode, and it was so lame. <laughs> it was <laughs> like it was just. I'm, I'm about to give it to Brian, man. That Piccoli fight is definitely it, the best thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so yeah, far, yeah. yeah. Where were the I thick lines, Tren? Where was the dude? <laughs> the thick lines are back. Besides, back besides the fact that, like, of, because of course, <laughs> fucking Japan, like you need to, they had to darken it <sighs> for the, the TV station. So of course, when Dude, it was good. the cool stuff's happening, they had to the darken, <laughs> darken the, the fight scene. Dude, for this scene, I actually was I agreed because that that monster was just basically seizure inducing. Like I don't know what in the hell was going on. What made him like become that? I'm just thinking like whatever. Sorry, our logic. I just let it fly now. Like it's more of like you can't. You can't really like uh like really like uh was a talk about it or like uh uh what's well what's the term that I'm thinking uh, or thinking for like where you can't really um I, I can't uh, I can't expose I don't know like it, they they didn't you can't do reason with it, I guess or right, I don't oh, know I'll <laughs> say they didn't explain anything about the fight they just went straight on oh it's terrible like, like no I feel like, like there was like no build up <laughs> like it just 
went straight. He just <laughs> did the stupid thing where he absorbs the the, the the mount, the manatee mount, get the wings, and then Kirito's flying <laughs> with this. He was already flying. His, we didn't um, need the wings. He's already flying with his uh, elephant online <laughs> wings. All I gotta say is was basically the battle of the hackers. Who can hack better? <laughs> right. Well, I technically, mean, technically, Kirito's not really hacking because he know he just knows how to use the system. The right. other dude, though, he's just the enemy. He just, he's just the bad guy. Kir- Kirito's he's just, just, he's just chilling in midair with his legs cut yeah. off. You know, nothing unusual. <laughs> I mentioned that too, but it, like I knew I knew this was gonna be a bad episode. Like right at the beginning, where he's just like. Where the guy's just like, who are you? And the character just goes blank. Who am I? I was like, bro, we just had this episode. <laughs> and, and, and we had to basically see it again. And I was just like, oh. Dude, I wish Yujiro, I wish Yujiro would have just popped up and slapped him. Like, yo, bitch, we just went over this. Don't you do this to me again. We don't got time for this shit. You got 10 minutes to get out. Like, I literally, you do. I finished one episode. Literally, just like, like I'm going to use my darkness power on you right now. And Kirito's be like, okay, bro, go ahead. <laughs> do your Dude, thing. Eddie, uh, and you can't tell me that Kirito's not hacking because when he was about to get fucked up, Yujiro came out of nowhere and physically <laughs> held the sword to deflect uh, that one guy's attack for, yeah. for Kirito to get enough time yeah. to do his attack. Hey, you man. can't tell me they weren't hacking. Everyone in this fucking game was hacking, all right? Sword logic, bro. Don't matter. Oh, God. Because I, <laughs> like, I, th- I thought for sure it would have been like Kirito just comes in, do his shit, and, you know, like, because he's well aware of the system and how everything works and, like... Um, yeah, like he has like a master of the system. He would just won with pure skill, right? I had, I was kind of hoping that they would have like gone away from the whole supernatural thing. Um, but <laughs> power yeah, friendship. They, <laughs> I mean, I get that, like bros before holes, but I mean, you gotta at least let the man stand up for himself. He just recovered, you know. He's he's known as this like incredible MC, right? Everyone's got hopes for him. I mean, they, he basically did like a spirit bomb where everyone gave him his energy, and then he couldn't even pull that off. He needed his ghost friend to come and like help him out to release his spirit bomb I mean, in a sense. AI. It's an AI like that's in the system. That's better than, than Yuki helping Asuna. I'll give him that much. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just no. There's no excuse. Everything here was bullshit, and you're and this is coming from the guy who was kind of hoping for like a hype, right? From 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 Kirito, but no, he just let us down. Who did like, you did you enjoy that? Like we didn't get a full episode of the fight. It was like what ten minutes of like not even like, like five, five minutes, five minutes of like animation. All the money that all you Sora fans spent went through this. <laughs> This is all the money. No, all the money went to Bacoli's fight. That's it. <laughs> After that, they ran out of budget. They're like, you know what? Fuck it. We got budget, go. dude. And, this and show is serious. like <laughs> bleeding budget. It's like from like every episode is super clean. Like, dude. how do you not? <laughs> and they, they make they make so much money too from like the, like the Blu-rays and the merchandise. Dude, it's and, like the animators like look through the story of the show. Like, oh man, this sounds like it's like let's, let's, dude, this sounds like trash. It's like let's just throw it up. Like, like even the games make a lot of money, so it's like you can't tell me this show does not print money. I'm one of those that buy them and play them. And like, <sighs> and this is this is under the same like umbrella as like as like Ufotable. Like this is the same company that like burns money on anime studios like Ufotable and Cover Works. So yeah, I. I completely forgot that this guy's name was Gabriel Miller. I la- like, of course, when I heard that name, I'm like, oh god. I remember his I name is Gabriel, but I'm just like Gabriel Miller, and that's why I was like, that's that's why this guy hates everybody. Terrible parents. It's just, I was just so dumb. I mean, yeah. like, it's, it's sort of, I, it, the whole, the whole just <laughs> like, like, like not justification, but like it could at least like, like d- done us the favor of having an epic fight, like between. You know the villain and the main character, and they couldn't do that for some reason. But like bro. this was in the OP, you had this setup from the OP. People were expecting this shit from the very beginning, and you do this. You give us less than the opening. You, you do this. You gave all that time and energy and money to Bercoli. Like not not hating on the guy, he's he was cool. <laughs> but you gave it all to him, and then you just gave Kirito like the shit end of the stick. I I don't get it. I really don't get it. By the way, I saw the Reddit thread. Of course, people were hype on the fight. I was like, okay, oh, of course. enjoy. Of course, this is, yeah. of course, the Reddit thread of the people who still watching this show. So, what what were yeah. you guys possibly hype about? <laughs> First of all, how the fuck did people even know that when the sky turned black, like purple to black? Oh, it's got to be Kirito. 
He needs our energy. Like, at least with fucking Dragon Ball Z, they had Hercule come on and announce to the world that we need your energy, right? At least people knew because someone told them. But with this I shit, mean, this guy just put his, like, thing in the sword or his sword in the sky. No one saw the beam of light. They just saw the sky turn black. And then people are like, oh, yeah, love. He needs our help. Care. He no. needs our energy. I mean, that part, I can, I can understand because that's anime. So I can, like... No. I've, I've given this, I've, I've like given it like this sense of disbelief already to Sword Art, so it was just part of the, it's part of the package. Like this is what I have to expect, but I'm just saying like the other things that happened in this episode, even for someone who was like casually watching, it just feels like such like a letdown. Like, it's like we we should have gotten way like, I don't know. This is not this is like for the type of show for like an action show too. Like this should have been like the main draw of the series. Like. And it wasn't like I don't understand why where, why did it fall apart like that. Like we, even with all the complaints we have this with this show, like this should have been like the, the like the simplest thing to get through. Like you have to have a hype like final battle. Like I don't know why. Like why did they like fall like why did not get that? Yeah. All I gotta say is that dude better still be alive, and he better come back. And it takes Kirito and Asuna to kill him. Two hundred years. And it's gonna be the, it's gonna be the most. Epic fucking battle we've ever seen, because that is the only way they can redeem this whole fucking show. But we still the have only way. we still have three episodes, don't we? Nine, ten, yeah, yeah, three episodes, yeah. three, three, three or two, so, three, three. I wasn't, I wasn't right. thinking about that. So maybe that's the only thing I'm hoping for for next. Well, maybe they're saving the budget for something else then. Right, possibly. I mean, they are still stuck there, so of course they're gonna find some miracle way to get out of the system. I'm assuming, yeah. especially since Asuna's there too. Like, there's no way in hell Kirito's just gonna either that let them or stay there. They're gonna say, "Oh, like their their souls were so strong, they were able to last 20 years." Like, <laughs> that's the only thing. It's, that's the only thing cop out. So my children's children will take care of you, sir. So I was, I was but, thinking, I was thinking they're gonna like say something like that for the episode, but then when Ku says about coming back, like actually, that actually sounds possible too. So. I actually hope that that's the option because I need I need something better. Yeah, you, you, I know you guys can do better. Like you don't better. You, you, you guys done way better sword art fights than this. So why why why, 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 why are you flopping at the last second here? Yeah, yeah they're tired of the story. They're, 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 just, they're, they're just like cloud nine, man, just <laughs> flopping that last second. Dude, I, I, okay, so we're also missing the point with Gar- like you know Gabriel Miller. His character was basically. Uh, in a gun shooting game, yet this guy decides to pull out a sword, and then mm-hmm. he'll, of course, then he start out doing the sword art thing where he has tentacles, dark tentacles, evil tentacles, of course. And then uh, it's just like, uh, then I get, of course, I don't explain Kirito, his powers either. Right. And, well, I mean, again, Kirito's basically like Ku said; he's basically hacking. He's like he has like power of God. I mean, he basically he was mm-hmm. able to, he's able to regen half his body. And so I mean, already that's just like oh my god. But at the same time, though, it's Kirito. He, you know, he has all the elements. Blah 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 blah. At the same time, though, that other guy's abilities, he just keeps, like, just, they're just pulling them out of nowhere. They makes no sense. Like, right. it's just, I like, keep thinking back, this guy's character is from Gungale. He shouldn't have these abilities. There there was, there are none of those abilities. But it's just because he's evil to be evil, he gets well, those powers. Somehow, like, he's stronger than his god account, too. Like, I don't know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's just stupid. So. And then, like, the thing he turns into. Like, what? where did that come from? Who? He just he comes... He just turns into a seizure-inducing creature. It's just, just like all why? darkness. Why? Yeah. yeah, why? From his gun like, games. Yeah, imagine, yeah, imagine playing like like Valorant and just turning into that that thing out of nowhere. <laughs> He's just so dark and edgy. He just became yeah. just that thing. Just, oh god! And then I also like the whole power thing, like where he was basically like the the power of friendship or hearts or whatever else. I was just thinking like half this episode. Or my, it's, it's basically like how we've already talked about like Dragon Ball Z. Where it's just like they take half the episode, it's like give me your energy type of thing. They do it, it's over. Oh, and, and, then like, saw, like, and like the other, the two chicks are like, you know, I really love Kirito after all. It's like, well, obviously, but like, yeah. no shit, Sherlock. You guys have <laughs> said this before. There's, you guys are side character Z and Y. You are, you don't matter at all. <laughs> and it's just like, why, why was that even like brought down? But I, I was like, whatever. Like, just shoot. Like, you're not, you're not even in like the, like the, the, the fuck light like machine thing with the god accounts so it's like yeah. like yeah. you don't stand a chance against like yeah. like it's like Asta Shinon and like and Suguha oh, yeah. so in, in characters in character in Kirito's mind that woke him up you're not there yeah. <laughs> so but it's that so that that thing was and then, uh, I just remember too like this whole this whole second half of the elevation like after like well while Kirito like like when 
they have to do like the battle this whole battle took like like so many episodes in like just for one day like from starting from like the invasion with the emperor and then when asana gets in well all the other characters get in the god accounts and then having then like having the other two like having poe and like like and like to like get logged out and then having the other people transferring for other servers it all happened in one day yeah it's like and but then they decided and it was just this one this this five minute fight alice got out <laughs> yeah um oh well, yeah. yeah thank god alice got out yeah i'm not, I'm not gonna lie when i when when kirito first said starburst stream i was like oh shit this is where it's gonna happen and then it was basically just ex- extremely dim a few swipes and then it was done i was like so, Fuck. dude, I was so I was ready to like, before. I was so ready to start this episode with like, because I thought there was gonna be a hype fight. So I was so ready to say, so Stren, was this fight worth fifty episodes? <laughs> and I was expecting like and... Stren to be like, hell, hell yeah, man! Like it lived up to the hype, and we got the thick lines, and I can't even say oh, that you... anymore. That's Brian. That's Brian. <laughs> you can still ask that. You can still ask that question. We'll just give you yeah, a response it, it, that it, you weren't it's expecting. Not, it's not gonna be as funny. Cause, like, okay, well, David, David, just ask us again. <laughs> <What's>... <laughs> no. <All right. laughs> <laughs> Don't you even dare ask that question. <laughs> this episode was pure bullshit, dude. Because like, yeah. if it, if it was good, like I could have said that, and then it would have been, and then we could have had you know fun, like fun back and forth. I could have been like, man, fuck Sword Art. <laughs> like, I, I even if this fight, it would have been like, I spent fifty episodes for this, but I can't. See, that's a, that's the thing. I can't even say that. You can't even like give me the option to like let you guys just have your say about how like <laughs> awesome the fight would have been, like. Um, How do you disappoint like you guys just like that? Like, I, <laughs> it should have been. This should have been like 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 such fan service for like for like action fans. Like, for us? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so yeah. I should have been like like okay, this, like, uh, why? Like, I should have like <laughs> been able to say, like, I should have been I should have been like the, the party pooper here just complaining about how it took us fifty episodes for this. Yeah. So so, so now now I'm justified, but like I'm not happy about it like it just makes me more more disappointed remember so you... remember last episode when i basically said like there's a good chance david i'm back on your side by next episode <laughs> and it happened it, it, it happened not, basically like... dude this is like one of the things like i'm not happy that i'm right like this this should have been like a, a shoe in and it's it's a lose lose for us all sir so it's because this is what you did to a sword art Animation is the only thing going for the show, and they let us down. I think, I think even this part too. I think we can blame like the anime studio because I feel like maybe it could have been more epic in the light novel, but oh, like because a lot of, this whole time I've been blaming the author for a lot of things, but I think this is this falls on the anime studio. We so. could be looking like absolute fools too if basically what you know, like what Ku said. We have three episodes left. Like there could be still be like the main fight, and I we guess, just don't see but it. Yet. Like this is just yeah. a huge debate. So yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, either that or like a like I was talking to Johan, like maybe there's like uh, like a Boruto version where like Asuna Kirito stays in this and then they have a kid and then the oh, kid God. like lives on in uh, in the virtual reality world. Yeah. OK, <laughs> just checking. <laughs> right. Because I don't know, like maybe this is how Paul comes back to life. Right. You know how he mentioned that, you know, like <laughs> he's going to come back to life. He's a some, some year down the line, like some kid's gonna chop down a tree and he's gonna come back to life. What if it was Kirito's kid? <laughs> oh shit! Big yeah. plot twist, dude. You're already you know. a better writer than this sort of author. I know, right? Pay me, right? I got <laughs> shit just flying out my ass, dude. I got so many ideas. I got you, but I, I just, I just need the money and a team. That's that's all I need. I got, I got the ideas. I, I just don't have the money or team. Yeah, come but, fund this guy, man. Right? VCs, where you at? God. Yeah. So this next episode is definitely gonna like show us what direction they're gonna take, and yep. it if if anything, this is probably the only episode where they can kind of salvage what what they've done so far. Because you know, like I mentioned earlier, like this this fight was such a flop. I don't know what the hell Reddit is smoking, but like there's no way in hell that this should have been hyped up or even thought to be good. The, the only other thing is like everyone's saying, oh, this is like the culmination of everything that's happened. But I already said my part about that. So, but yeah. So, yeah. so if they if they don't fix this, even like I feel like this week is just like other than ReZero, like it's just been disappointment. Like Snafu, like I hope they fix that shit. Sword Art, I hope they fix this shit. I mean, Sword Art's always disappointment. So. <laughs> Sword Art's not really. No, no, all right. Sword they had, Art, a, they Sword, had a chance. Sword Art they had was a, a chance. surprise disappointment because this was, yeah. Right, they're going just, in the right. They oh. were going in the right direction, I thought. Dude, so they fucked it up. I'm just thinking too, like besides the Bacoli fight, you think about like the first half of like the get the fight against the knights, 
like, 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 we had like usual fighting too we had the administrative yeah. fight mm-hmm. and then even yeah, like so good and then even like this uh, like the other soldiers like the other um the other knights like like when they're he, fighting like the the one the one chick with the sword fighting the the pugilus the pugilus mm-hmm. like that fight was awesome like so much awesome fights and like they had to just point on this one yeah i know character was like like below all of those the only fight that I hated up to that, that I really hated from like the previous seasons was when that that CGI sword creature. Oh, yeah. that was that was that was, <laughs> that was that was that was that was by far like their worst fight that they've had. Uh, but since then, though, like I mean, all those fights were so good, and it's basically you you shit the bet on Kirito. But at the same time, we could look like complete fools if there's like a if there's like you know part two to this uh, to this final boss, and then we're just thinking like, oh, okay, here it is, which is you know well I'll, I mean I'll own up to it. Same, yeah, but. Yeah. But we don't know. It's just just basically, really, well, from what we see, I don't it was, uh, maybe yeah. it just feels so weird because, like, I'm just yeah. Maybe the fans, the the ones that go on the Reddit thread, maybe they're like satisfied with this. But I just feel, at least for other they're, people who aren't like like r- r- like extreme fans of sort of like, I feel like they gotta be just disappointed by getting baited like this. Oh, I, I would, so. I would assume so. Like, you'd have to. Uh, but I, I don't know. It's just at this time for Reddit. Like at, at this point, only the people who like the show are the ones that continuing yeah. to watch it. Nobody's gonna stick with this, you know, this long. Uh, and it's uh, weird because like because like cause it's. I feel like it's only Sword Art because like every other like I think other like I didn't look at Shokugeki, but I assume even the Shokugeki like thread is full of like like people it's... who are disappointed. So oh, because Shokugeki was actually solid for a long period of time before it finally started going downhill. But at that point. At that point, when it went downhill, I would assume everybody's invent- invested just to finish. It's I would, I would say so. So, but 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 Kirito gave you the op or Kirito, but sorry, I gave you the option to opt out very early on when they basically <laughs> quit that game and go to Elf's, and people were just like, "I'm out." And then That's you could I just have done. Go, yeah, you could just easily just back out and then call That's it good. What I should have done, dude. I think, yeah, I just fell in the trap of again listening to people on Reddit like thinking like, "Oh, Allization is the best arc. It'll re." Was it redeem sword art? Yeah, I, I fell for it. Just like how I fell for, like, like my hero academia and Shisaki. Yeah. <laughs> what what else? Like fucking Reddit. I just I got I just realized how much I, so much I got baited by Reddit. <laughs> yeah, sword sword art for Reddit. I don't even go back there after like we. It was the first it, few times where basically everybody was making it sound like the shit. I'm dude, just e- like, oh, okay. because even before um, when sword art was a light novel, it was a really popular light novel. It was like underground for a while because like. Because if you're in, like, the light novel reading community, like, you know about sword art. And, like, so that's why people were so hyped for the first season, because that community kept hyping it up. But, like... They were just very loud. Yeah. But it was very popular as a light novel that, like, no one else knew. So... Well, my final comment on this show, I want Agile's place. His place looks so sick. (laughs) Hell Yeah. (laughs) That, but, that, he runs like at the bar in real life, but yeah. yeah. Dude, his place looked awesome. I thought like goddamn I and would then, like that place. And then there's fucking Klein. Fucking loser. <laughs> hey. How old is that pizza? For real. I was yeah, like, what yeah. the hell is this shit? This is why you're a side character. <laughs> this is the reason why you're not like Kirito, oh. right? Oh Agile's Agil, Agil, place just looks so awesome. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna put that in my notes and mention it. <laughs> I got nothing else. <sighs> we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens next episode. We'll see if we're just uh, if it ends up actually being oh, like another I, I just, kind of character. The only, thing I, the only other thing I just oh. want to mention is how like people were mentioning in the red thread too how oh like I teared up when Kirito cried when he realized he's gonna be there for twenty years. It's like okay, bro, like if you're that invested to Kirito being stuck for two hundred years, or even it's... with with Asuna too, it's like whatever. Like they that I could because I actually I actually like was invested in this in that stake last episode when they brought it up. Like oh, this is actually pretty serious. Like I actually feel like. They're in danger if they don't get out. But now it's like I just don't care. That last fight that just like made me like so like just deflated my hype that like I just I can't care. I'd be stuck. Well, just everything, it's cute though. Just, I mean, it just felt like nothing. Like like yeah. I was actually believing them like that. Th- this is important not to get stuck here. But now that happens, like I just don't care. It's I don't know. It's I mean it's Kirito that uh, he's the one that got stuck. So I would just assume well, like they're gonna Asuna, find a way out. Like, <laughs> Oh well, yeah, that's the, well, that's the one reason I think like basically like Kirito will basically figure out a way, you know, basically sort out logic, uh, and you know something's going to happen. I would assume. Yeah. 
Um, that's just what I'm going to guess is going to happen. But if it was like somebody else, like let's say everybody got out and like Asuna was left behind or something, then I would be like, oh, damn. Or not Asuna, but somebody else, like of somewhat of a major character. Then just assume like, then I would assume like this could go either way. But since it's Kirito, I just immediately think like they're going to get out. Well, like, uh, I think. like I didn't know there was going to be another season after this or another arc. But David, do you know what the arc is about? It's like, I think I forgot because it was on it was on Wikipedia. So I think Wikipedia said uh-huh. like it might be AR again. I'm not sure. Okay, because so. if if we knew there was a new arc after this or like a new season after this, and we don't know what it's, it's about, I think I would imagine this would be the lead up to it, right? It's yeah. them stuck in this world. But well, if it's not, I. Or I don't, a whole I, new I don't, story. I don't. I don't right. think so because I think people are saying. Every, everyone kept thinking this was the last arc, because I think also it was the last arc of the web novel, and mm-hmm. I think it's only in like the light novel that he, the author actually did one more arc. So, but I, I'm pretty sure like everyone assumed that this was supposed to be the last arc, and then I don't know where the authors like just said was we'll do another one after he finished it. Why not money? Yeah. A bunch of money, yeah. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Next week is going to be like the, the decider for me. So, there's a good chance, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, there's only three episodes left. <laughs> so, that's going to be it for Sword Art. And oh, then we're moving on to Shogeki. Oh, boy. I just want to say, like I, like, I don't know why I was doubting. So, me and Ku kept saying how it's, it's you know, probably your, your mom. I don't know why I, I was one doubting, like, last week or whatever. That, like, I, I thought I thought it was going like to be one of those things where it just throws, throws me off. No, it was just the mom. So, I'll give credit Bro, to Koo because he he didn't he, he believed the whole time. So I'll give the full credit to Koo. Were you guys as disappointed as I was when yes. they showed her face? Because <laughs> oh, she looked like the fucking insect, dude. Oh, no, I no, don't no, know what. No, they were for thinking. some reason, I I was getting like Tsunade vibes. Like I don't know why she just reminded me so much of Tsunade. No, don't you dare compare to Tsunade. Because like right? she had like, was way better. She had like the, the dot on her forehead and like her hairstyle. It was almost kind of similar and like it was like, kind of like pinkish blonde. So I could remind me of Tsunade. Why am I blind? Who's Sonata? Oh, d- d- never mind. Naruto, right. gotcha. Yeah. Okay. No, dead, oh, dude. No, 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 no. That's not as I mean, not as good, but I'm just there. saying it just, it just it had the resemblance, but... You have no idea how disappointed I was. The reason why I said this whole weekend was full of disappointments, <laughs> this was one of them. Alright? I was like, alright, I saw the pink hair, I saw her chin, like, she, she looks like, <laughs> like... She looked like she had some good features, right? Looking at Arena... Like, like Erida, and then you like you realize that like most in most animes, like the the mom is always a hot one. No, Erida just totally blows her mom out the water. Like maybe it's because she's not eating; she's taking her nutrients from the IV or whatever yeah, they, the case the, may be. They made look like a druggie just taking the right. IV. Yeah, basically, she's like a druggie. Shoot and, me up, like I said, shoot me up, bro. And Honestly, like the with her face marks or whatever, whatever they are, like it just totally threw me off. I honestly can back up that part of her basically where she, like basically you know with the god time like the bat like the like the backlash ability where you just don't care about food anymore. Mm-hmm. I actually heard that. I was like, oh damn, that's actually pretty solid. Right. For like for like a basically kind of like a story part. But then immediately you know like, well, it's gonna be Soma. <laughs> so obviously it's gonna be Soma that's gonna get her out of that. I mean, dude then... <laughs> feels bad for Arena's family life because oh, yeah. you know, she had to do with her dad and then her mom basically is like like they basically left her and they like, had made her deal with her dad all on her own, and she basically just became a druggie and just couldn't. She couldn't like even like get get high off her food anymore, so she had to like like shoot up with the IV. So this family, man. Wait, yeah, this family, dude. So ten ten. like the only like it's only the grandpa who's really the only good person in the family. The grandpa's a beast, and he has the best ability. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd say so. so. But yeah, like when I when I first saw you know when I, when I saw the mom, I was like, Woof. well, Ku's not gonna. There goes Ku. <laughs> yeah, he already knows. He the, already the, knows. Wearing those bubble bee eyebrows. Oh, I. But, yeah. Oh god. So, <laughs> oh. I like how we haven't even talked about the episode yet. Well, it's fuck like, the episode. <laughs> Circle Yankee is trash. Dude, all right, it is, show. it is trash. We had to talk about the only things. thing I had to enjoy. They ruined it for me, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Like, oh, I can't even. I can't even. Oh, we can talk about how, you know, your girl, Mega Means friend, just got wrecked by... Hey, and Kuz. Yeah, yeah, like, I knew it was happening. Oh, yeah, when she got paired up with him, I'm like, well, rip her. 
But the thing is, we didn't even get... Besides that fact, I would just say, like, they rushed through, like, her... Yeah, the other everything. Guy, so. Not even her, but, like... But also, like, Aldini, you know, basically, you know, Aldini, rip him, too. And the thing is, like, when, like, the first thing with Arena, like, we, we saw a Noir member, didn't even... We got to see an image of the guy. And mm-hmm. then it was over. <laughs> like, we yeah. don't even know what he did, who he yeah. was. They basically it's just like, like, yeah, he's gone. Dude, they're just speedrunning this whole, like, season. Oh, like, Jesus. Like, this and guy, like, he, he just, he just, he knew, this author knew he was, like, get canceled. So he's just, he's, like, rushing through everything. <laughs> even, like, the assassin guy that's cooking, like, it's basically, oh, I cook with poisons. We didn't even get to see his dish. Nope. It just basically, just, he was just out. <laughs> and, it, oh, oh, God, it was just, uh. I mean, I again, know. he's only there just to give this, his cooking tool to, to Asahi. Yeah, we got to see basically. We got to see Megami. Megami had two rounds. We saw neither one of what happened. <laughs> so it, and it, she, she was she first deserves team. better. She deserves yeah. better. And then like yeah. I mean, the whole dramatic <laughs> thing of like, oh, Chokugeki, like you stay away from Arena, you too. So and they, they didn't even like, go through the consequences. Like okay, I guess or, Megami can't be friends with Arena anymore. I don't know how that's gonna work if it's official or not. But they consequences may, may they like, might mention them they may sound so dramatic like. But I cut or something, yeah. Consequences be damned. Like no, nothing matters in the show. Dude, okay. they, they they haven't given like any sh- like like good airtime to Megumi, so I'm pretty sure they're just gonna toss this out the window. Like yep. the consequences, like weren't even like uh, yeah. severe or like serious. So well, it's whatever. What's like, I mean, I mean, even with Soma, like as a main character, she still barely gets any airtime too. Like, I mean, not, I mean, like, he, not he airtime. Like, sure. Yeah, a good amount. But it's just like it's just. Just the general sense of rushing through things, like mm-hmm. it's like why bother? Yeah. Have, why bother having a tournament if you're gonna just rush through all this? You could have just done like a one v one, and like done, done like um like you know quality over quantity that way. Just like have just so much, maybe like a like a small team like Soma and his team versus Noir, but we're just doing this whole tournament and it's just nothing matters. Like yeah, like how they be able to mom too? Like it's just like. It doesn't even matter. Yep. I would assume, though, you know, like the whole thing with Megami not being friends with her or whatever else, basically, I assume she's going to tell Soma at some point, and that's, that's going to be in their Shokugeki battle as well, that mm-hmm. to either call it off or just not even take it serious because it's just stupid, or Aaron is going to be like, that's just fucking stupid. And then it'll just be kind of moved on, because the whole thing of it is just... It, it, the whole thing would just sound really dumb. Right. And I'm just thinking, like, how, like, how, like what's the high stakes? Because first when they said, like, oh, Shokugeki, I was like, what the hell does she have to offer and like to actually give him? And he's just like, you can't be friends with her. I'm thinking, oh god, it's like, <laughs> is this is this really a shokugeki matter? If this is the thing. And then the whole thing is like, she's like, you can't treat Irina like that. I'm like thinking, again, like, what is the point of this? It's, it's just like, I don't know. Like that whole that whole thing was just 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 dumb. And then, yeah, like how you guys said, speed running, Aldini, Mega Me. It's like basically you got you got seed one and two gone. No idea, like even what they did during this tournament. Uh, it, well, actually, Aldini got more of airtime than Megami did, and Megami know, it was right? like way more the first seed. And it just, like, it just, this author it, doesn't believe that she's first seed based on how much airtime he gives her. It's just like it's I don't know. It's just it's just so bad, and like like it's just they they continue they continually or they continue to make the top ten looks just terrible, like just a bumbling bunch of fools. It's just like where I still just feel like everybody is better at this tournament than them, but because they're the main characters, they just pass. At least, especially what they're showing them with the meals, because they just seem very basic. They're not explaining what it like, what's really Dude, in like, it. Maybe means like super basic, which is like one piece of oh, meat, yeah. a, a bunch of sauce. Like, I know her her specialty is to make things simple and homemade, but like, yeah, do better. Yeah, but you can definitely tell though that this was the time where that one. His uh, his source left him. No, no his or, source uh, left him like during I think. That's I think, a long time ago. Like sent, either during Central or like right after Central. I would oh, say boy. before Central, isn't it? You mean before Central? Sure, yeah. Well, maybe, maybe maybe he at least had material like before then, like to, where he could actually work with. Yeah. But and then he ran out of material. But then, <laughs> I, mean, I, 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 I don't know which one. Like either you, Strand or, or Koo. Someone mentioned too how like if he got rid of his source, but I think he could have got another person. I think he easily found another chef to, yeah. yeah, to oh, collaborate yeah, I think with. That was me. So. Yeah, so yeah. I, I don't know why like this just have getting rid of your one source like because it's not like it's not not any other cook you can't find in Japan to help you with this like maybe maybe he got cocky and he didn't want to like you know spend money on a, a source well, and not, he thought like, it's not even spend money it's just, like 
her source, she went on maternal leave, so it's right, not like, right. It's not like he wasn't willing was to she, spend the money. Was she planning on coming back? Maybe was he was he waiting for that? Like, I don't, did, or, I don't uh, know the full story. I just that's oh, the okay. thing I hear. That's like yeah. what people give to say why it went downhill because his his sort is like his cooking source. Like, yeah, went on maternal leave. Like it, it, it could be anything, but just the fact remains. Like he was, he had he had plenty of other opportunities or resources to find a replacement. So there's really no excuse for this. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. Maybe author, he just got tired. Author, this is your. T- this is when you just call it quits and go back to hentai. I mean, that's probably his plan. Maybe not this if he keeps drawing like... stuff like Erina's mom. That's that's horrible. <laughs> He's losing oh, yeah. his touch. Actually, man. actually I, now I think about it too. This, we barely had any, any fan service this whole season too. Like. It's just, just like, yeah. it's just been like super generic, like, like Cold, very, Cold very like fluff and like not like, yeah. Clothes just bursting off and like but the usual. It's like the usual, like it's, yeah, it's routine. Because before they would have, it's, it's, yeah. It, yeah, it's, it's like, yeah. yeah, it's just like, he's like, I don't know, it's like, it's like the marriage thing. Like it's, it just became routine now. Yeah. It was, I don't know, like, because like before there would be a lot of like hilarious moments. Where you know basically you know like when uh you know if someone's cooking with honey or something, it basically just shows like the you know the the, the person's oh, just gosh. being attacked by bees. Attacked. Oh, we'll I if you're with the part uh, where they're like like they're like like open your mouth and like stick your tongue out for this spoon, and it was like a very provocative position. Oh, probably. I don't yeah. remember that though. But but yeah, no. But they had like things like that. But now it's basically like we're not even getting to see any of that sweet sweet cooking animation. That's I just assume that's gone. We're not gonna. That's we're just not gonna get that any, anymore. And then they they have just like like you guys said the generic scene where they basically just show like the you know clothes are bursting off. When before they would have like you know depending on what they're cooking with, they'd have some sort of like you know a kind of funny skit like in the mind of like what was going on. Oh yeah. Where there would be, it would be it was, it was just very different. And then now it's just like they're not even like really spending the time for that. It's just basically. I mean they're not trying. So. Oh no, definitely not. And I, I'm also just kind of like this, this. Also, this this main this main villain is just terrible. Like they're basically just saying that this, that this baby. Just because this guy has like fifty tools to cook with, apparently that just makes food better, which doesn't make any sense. Uh, but they're in a, but in this show, it apparently it just, even though you know, even though I'm still going to hold true that basically this guy's going to use like fifty tools, and someone's just going to use some basic, just cook some something Dude. incredibly basic Yaki and win. Soba. Yeah, I honestly hope it's yakisoba, and then we just then we'll have a very good story for that episode. Maybe maybe, but, maybe get a little fancy try and he'll do tonkatsu just for you. Ooh, or like some like crushed uh, crushed chips on top or whatever else that maybe, they just, seem just, to just a bento of rice and tonkatsu and maybe some teriyaki sauce. Yeah, and then no other ingredients that will be told. But man, you, guys, you guys are just setting you guys up for failure. <laughs> it's already <laughs> failure. <laughs> it's already <laughs> failure. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, I don't. Are, are there any, I was gonna say. Again, isn't there I was literally, hard I was hard? literally watching. This on one screen, hang Twitch on the other screen. So that's how far I fall in for the show. Yeah, you made a good move, sir. So it's my background I anime. Lost, I just lost hope, guys. Okay, maybe <laughs> life will return to her when she's looking forward food. to, which is crush. Hey, there's still maybe a chance. You know, when she gets Soma's food, you know, she, there may she might end up, you know, just evolving. The only way they can salvage this for me is if, for some odd reason, they ship Megumi and Soma together. But that's <laughs> about it. That'd be awesome, but it's not gonna happen. Right, but I'm just they, saying. Yeah, they already kind of put that pres- the, you know, the They already kind of put that story into motion at the beginning, where it's like, oh, you gotta find somebody to cook for. I'm like, well, Arena Flag up, and then that's I, Megumi is. In other, you in can other tell. words, that ship has sank. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, definitely. Because it's just like <laughs> this ship definitely sank when Megami's first seed, and we get she gets no air time. Uh, you know that that's kind of a GG. Yeah. I'm ready to move on. This is way <laughs> too much time. I'm done. Yeah. Right, that's good for Shokugeki. We're on to rent a girlfriend. Kuz's oh. favorite. <laughs> oh God. So. I, I just want to uh... say. I just want to say. Like, like we're complaining about the main character again, but. Yes. I gotta do my, my weekly, I got I gotta do my weekly rant again. Where again, he admits he's a loser. He shouldn't be doing all this, and he apologizes, but he still does it. So fuck you. Like, yep. I, I hate <laughs> I hate when you do this every single time. Okay, so I brought this. I, okay, so I brought this part up to Taylor. Do we think this 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 creator is? Do we think he thinks that this guy's actually like a legitimate good character, or do you think he's like 
No. Just destroying that kind of fan base of those type of people. Because I'm sure there's people that are... What do you think, exactly I'm here, like curious about your thoughts. Well, dude, I don't know. I have no idea. No idea. I have no clue. Uh, because both both the score of this and the manga are terrible. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't know if it's basically... Like, so I, I can't I tell. S- I feel like... I don't know this guy. Writers <laughs> of of like of like harem and like other rom-coms like i feel like they're not the best at relationships so i i feel like they strongly believe in their characters like because no a lot of times it's it's like it's fantasy like the harem is the fantasy for a lot of people and same thing with rom-coms like it's always the fantasy of like being the average guy getting the hot girl i feel like it's like the authors like writing that fantasy that fantasy they want for themselves onto that main character so i can believe that like like this author, I like because you know how like again people on Reddit where they did that soup, they were saying like oh he has to be bad so it's character development like like I can see that the author thinks that we'll just make him it's fine if he's bad because then we'll we'll like make him grow later even though he hasn't done any of this so like well what are we seven episodes in yeah is it seven or yeah yeah but, so I I, I can see the author thinking that like that like I don't know, he's just he's living that fantasy that even if someone if you're as shitty as, as Kazu, yeah, like you, you two can get like a hot girl that's not just we're, in it for the money. We are eight episodes mm-hmm. in, actually. Okay. Yeah, so, so, yeah, we've surpassed that so, kind of threshold. He, yeah, so I was gonna say, I'll say like the only other way is that is maybe he wants to write differently, but then like the off his editors probably want like they, they want to drag it out, create drama. That's the only other way I can justify it. But I I strongly believe that these writers don't know don't have like much relationship like experience and like they're just writing their fantasies so that's that's my that's my opinion oh i can easily see that too um i mean like, with, with with how they've written out the uh the female characters i i feel like he's doing this on purpose um just shitting on this mc so hard i seriously doubt that he intended for this to be like a good mc whatsoever so i don't know it's tough to tell <laughs> Like, like if, I, if, if everyone was trash, I I understand, but with him being the only bad character in, in the series, and with him being an MC, I seriously doubt that. It's like when you're writing, when you're when you're writing like a male character with with the harm, like I can see you like like putting the female characters on a pedestal and like just like putting all your thoughts on them, but then like not taking the effort to making the the main male character good. So like. I can yeah. see. I can still see him like like taking the time to flesh out the female characters, but but like still thinking that like he's that he wants to write the fantasy of having these these good characters like be in love with like the horror like you know a shitty like main character. I, I don't think I've ever. I, I've never hated an MC more than this guy. It's, yeah, yeah, it's bad. Like if if the creator of Sword Art can't make. Kirito is bad. I seriously doubt that this guy is 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 even worse than him. You know what I mean, yeah. right? Like Sword Art is like like the lowest of the low. So if this guy is even worse than that, I seriously doubt that's the case. So, so I I can okay. I don't know like you just think about like if you if you like I can easily see people like with less like with like low experience yeah in like relationship and dating just making like just making like bad characters and just just because like everything is is that what they have to think about or what they make up so well i can see like okay so a lot i can go with i can get behind the part where it's basically like you have a bad you have a just a terrible character but then he kind of like redeems himself just kind of like you know he 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 gets better but there's there's a specific point that you have to i believe you have to do that by or it's basically like the guy goes so far that he just can't redeem himself. You can't just give this guy eleven episodes of being just an absolute, you know, heaping, flaming garbage bag, and then just have him like redeem himself in the last episode. By the Nobody's way, gonna yeah. give a shit about that. I don't that. know how much chapters of manga is, but it's still ongoing. I'm pretty sure there's at least a hundred chapters right now. So. How? 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 Uh, I don't know. It's well, again, thing... again, what I complain about. He, he's always saying, "I'm a loser. I shouldn't be doing this. I'm, I, I apologize." He just does it over and over again. I'm gonna do it anyway. Yeah. yeah, it's like we're eight episodes in though, and we still don't, we still have not seen the other Parm oh, member yeah, character. Girl. Yeah, even though it doesn't matter at all. Yeah, like at the beginning of this fucking episode, it's just like when this guy, the guy's just like he's just wallowing in pity, where he's just like, oh man, it looks like I'm spending Christmas alone again. I was like, dude, you had your chance, oh, like, and wait. you said no. 
<laughs> I, I didn't look at... The, he texted Ruka something. I didn't read that. Like, do you know what he, what he said to her? Why he didn't want to spend Christmas with her? Oh, he, he, he basically said, like, he was going out of time with family. Okay. So yeah. That's basically what he said. So. And, then, and then immediately after, he's just like, oh, God, looks like I'm spending, you know, spending Christmas alone. I'm like, you were just texting yeah. that that difference. So, uh, again, and it's he, like, he's being a bitch about, like... I just feel bad for his choices. Uh, like, he's being a bitch for, like... Even though like he's some even though like Ruka is clingy, but like uh, I don't know like he's just yeah, yeah. Uh, like yeah. like I, I, have, I have never seen a, I have never seen a character like this bad where even if like like Saren said it's it's gone too far, there's no way he can redeem himself. He has no redeeming qualities at this point. I have and there's no way that this can't be on purpose, right? Like there's no way that you can make an MT so cool. bad that he's unredeemable. <laughs> And for you to have an anime series and an ongoing man like manga, there is no way in hell that this was not done on purpose. The 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 two characters, the two MCs, are the girls. That's that's how oh, I. See they're it. the only ones with actually like, yeah. like different like being different characters, character development. Right. Kazuya's friends have better character development, right. uh, or just there's better characters in general, better people, whatever. Right. And it's, uh, it's I don't know, like the whole thing. Like I don't know why. Like it's like. I'm not quite sure, like, what really, like, got in his mind at that time. Like, like why she would have a boyfriend. I'm like, you saw her, like, in a sense, you saw her, like, her schedule. She was booked. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, like, it was all of a sudden just out of left field. I'm like, like, I didn't even, like, I, mean, I suppose, like, you know, our perspective. Didn't even really think about it. But at the same time, it's just like, oh, God, like, I didn't even think about her. Like, if she actually had a boyfriend, I was like, I, was, I think something would have been mentioned by now. I mean, you, you live right next to her. You would see these things, change, like, change. It's just like, I don't know. There's just so many things. I'm just like, this, that part, this guy has it. Like, I mean, that part, I can, God, I can kind of understand. Is like, because there's still, there could still be parts that he doesn't know, doesn't know much about her other, like, private life, besides, like, the rent a girlfriend part. So, no, because even, even the, like, her grandma didn't know about it. And her and her grandma seems pretty close. Like, if anything, if she would have had a boyfriend, like, her grandma oh, would have brought that it part. Up. Okay. I wasn't thinking about that right. part. So. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of chances that basically like yeah. that he would have known, right? So uh, it, I don't know, and also you would, I, I mean I really don't know if they, like do we know if uh, if Ruka still has her rent a girlfriend job? Like did she quit? Did do we? I, I would imagine she quit. Like she would have to have quit. You think so? Like there's there's no way. Hmm. How do you yeah. supposedly say you're going to be someone's like girlfriend for reals I mean, and say your heart don't feel well, for just, them? Just do it for as a job. Just yeah, don't, really. don't tell don't tell your clients you have a boyfriend. Just do it as a job. Mm. That's that's really how like Kazuya. that's how like idols do it. Like they lie about having boyfriends. No, but but that's the thing. Like each each girl that that does it, they have a specific reason for it, right? Like we just found out that Chizuru it wasn't it wasn't for school. It was for acting school. So I, I guess it was still for school. So like whatever. But it was it was for acting class or whatever, right? And then Ruka, her main reason for doing this was so she can find true love or someone that can make her like her heart beat fast, right? And so if they have a reason, like if they found the reason why they're doing it, they don't need to do it anymore. So Ruka doesn't have a reason to be a rental girlfriend anymore. Okay. And especially with well, how yeah, she... That was her reason, because she didn't actually need money. She was just looking for that. Yeah, she was just looking right. for that. So okay. she has no reason to do this anymore. And the fact that she really wants to make this work with uh, the MC, like I seriously, I really doubt that she would continue to do this. That's yeah, true. That's true. I just... It's kind of... I, don't know, I guess it's kind of funny how we spent so much time like building up Ruka that last episode, and she's not even here this this episode. It was just all him being a creep to Chizuru. Yeah, so, like if anything, I was expecting more Ruka, you know. But they just threw her out the window, so that, that kind like of you, sucks. like like I just remember Ku like last week. You're just saying how oh I, I like this girl. Like hopefully we see more of her, and then nope. Yeah, just yeet it <laughs> <Yeah>. up. <laughs> yeah. Just more of your disappointments. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, Mia, and then we have to focus on this fuck even more. Oh, Jesus. It was just... I don't know, man. Like, at some point, too, I can't remember like where it was or what point it was, but he he basically made it sound like, oh, like I was doing so much better. I'm like, you you, you have not. You really so. haven't. No. Yeah. You, no. you were right where you were Dude, before. Like, this fucking guy like was... Here's Chizuru taking a shower, and then he, he just... Like <laughs> that's right. he just he just you know like rubs one out. Can't help like, it. Oh god, oh what's wrong god. with me? Why do I do this to myself? You know, it's like that's what I'm saying. At uh, the beginning, my rants, my weekly rants. Uh, and then and then when he gets caught, he's saying, "I'm sorry for being such a loser, Cheese Roo. Let me cry in front of you and get sympathy." 
for and every she's, episode. And she still got like she still like felt bad. <laughs> she still like blushed and felt bad for like oh, why? You're too nice, Juzu. Yeah. I gave him a and gift. Then, oh, and then to all the to all the light novel or, or manga readers, like, why are you reading it this far if it's for still character. trash? For the you're for the girls. Why am I you're watching it? That's the real question. Unless, you're doing it for the wife unless you you've added more 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 girls to the harem. Okay, I get it. But that's the only thing I could think of. I mean, maybe you can maybe you people. Are... You guess that you can ask me that. Why am I still watching this show? <laughs> oh no, we we run a podcast, so I already know why you're watching <laughs> God, this. I, <laughs> but I if we I did didn't, it, I could just drop this, but I'm not reason but maybe people are reading they're continuously reading this because they think like okay maybe this guy will just end up like just total trash maybe it'll be like one of those school days endings or it'll be one of those crazy ass endings where this guy get, gets what he deserves it's, it's possible who knows i doubt it is, the, the tone of the show i doubt it this but. is why i didn't want to watch the show in the first place because like people kept trashing the manga god i don't know but that it's, means that they're still readers of the manga, so they they don't have the right to say anything. <laughs> they're it's like at the same time it's like it's trash. This character's trash, and at the same time it's just like I have to see how this ha- like how this ends, even though it's so bad, and it's just the character is just the worst character. That's you can like possibly the only think. good thing that like it makes us rant. It's not a meth show like the other yeah. the other generic shows, but still, because yeah. it sounds like a lot of these people like it sounds like one like this is one of the shows that a lot of people are talking about, but for the bad but for the wrong reasons. Like it's not because like oh this show is so good it's more it's more because like dude this MC is awful and it, it's then that's in a in a sense unless that's maybe another way that the that the writer was maybe doing it. it's like I have to make a character so bad that it, it gets uh it gets right a that's what I'm saying right like there's no way that this can't be done on purpose like he's so bad yet people are still clung like hung on to this this uh, manga it's it's probably because of this like they want to see like what you shouldn't become i guess or they want to shit talk someone and here you go here's a guy that everyone hates but here's all these girls that deserve so much better but they're oh, caught up in them for some, they're entangled in his like path for some reason I mean, who okay mommy chan she knew she was getting the fuck out of there and now for some reason she wants back <laughs> i just i just don't know uh, and... it's, what, it's, okay so has I mean, this writer done anything else I don't know. Is this his only thing? Okay. I, have, I, have no idea. No, I haven't looked at him. I was just going to say, like, I don't know, like, just look at, you look at the audience for this kind of, like, for harms, like, and, like, awesome. these, and, like, these shonen rom-coms, it's, like, they're not exactly, like, the best audience either, like, it's... David, you're talking about us. Be careful. No, no, no. I think the audience is good because they're agreeing with us. If they were, like, oh, say, right. That's on true. this... On his dick, like like sword art, like oh this shit is so good. Maybe, when it's like maybe it's the Japanese clearly audience. bad. Maybe it's just right? the Japanese well, audience. Then it's something we don't understand. Like we're maybe like we should. It's really like they actually like I don't know something about the Japanese audience actually believes uh, like I don't. Know, they maybe maybe, maybe it, like they're maybe they're they're trash like this main character and they still want to believe that they can get a, like be like this guy like they be trash and still get get girls. Please, what if please, um. Please. What if there's be there's actually like the, those fan bases though where they're just like damn Kazuya is like the like the best character ever like like they, you know they gotta make more things like this love, like that I think it'd be more like like oh he's so relatable because he does the things I do oh boy I'd be worried about I'd be afraid of those uh, people Japan man maybe, maybe it's just maybe it's the, the audience to be fair if you want shit like that you're better off just watching hentai because at least with hentai <laughs> he gets something done right but. <laughs> He, you know, damn well, he ain't getting shit done. So if you're watching this guy because you believe you resemble him or he resembles you, and it gives you hope that you have a chance to go out with these hot girls, no, because okay. you have to keep in mind that there's no way in hell he's hooking up with any of these guys or girls. And even though that he has a chance, he blew it because of who he is. So <laughs> please don't try to relate yourself to this MC oh, because uh, it's not gonna happen in real life, right? Because when you say you're trash, people will think this guy's trash and then move on. I mean, like I said, maybe with Japan, maybe it gives them like hope, but I seriously doubt that Japan's. There's gotta be limits. Not Japan, there. just like the, yeah. like um, a small audience of otaku's. So, Japan. for all you otaku's, please, you you like, you have so like, much more. This is why this, this is why Japanese people make fun of otaku's because like, if it, if they have the mindset of this guy, so they're giving us a bad name. All right, all right, otaku, if 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 you're watching this, you can do better. You can do better. I believe in you. You don't have to resort to this guy, all right? <laughs> don't analyze this guy. If you have to choose anybody, go for Kirito. Go for Kirito. 
goes. Oh, it's not God. his fault. It's not his fault. <laughs> You know, other one, the one thing I'll mention is like, dude, this guy, he had 10, he started with 10k, he's down to 2k now, he spent 8,000 on, like, he spent 8,000 in 8 episodes. And like, I think, I don't even think his first semester is done yet, I think he's still in his, like, his spring semester, I want to, no, so, I want to say it's done, because this is Christmas time. Yeah, it's well, winter oh, now. Christmas, oh, Christmas, yeah, spring, okay. Yeah. So, I guess. Yeah, so he's actually, going on the second oh, year. Okay, so, actually that makes more sense. Because I was like, I was, I was thinking like it was like fall of the winter, but then I forgot about that. So, but he was saying like, oh, I should actually you know get a job now. I was like, yeah, you better you bitch. Probably. <laughs> he made it to the end of the year though, so yeah, he's replenished. playing ten k more. He's he's yeah. good. He'll be replenished. He'll be fine. And but that's after paying all his year bills. So yeah, he should probably still get a job though. But oh, maybe also I met the angel chick. You know, angel. What? The or the, last, the fourth last character. The fourth chick. It's probably oh, like, right. maybe like a tutor right. for a high school student, is what I'm thinking. Oh, God. Or somebody that. <laughs> I mean, who else yeah. is, who's there a tutor in college? He's not really the smartest guy. Maybe he has to talk to somebody about his money issues and managing his money. <laughs> God, probably. I don't know. And then it, it's he finds a rent a girlfriend for that too while spending money. <laughs> oh, shit. Anyway. But yeah, that, that's all I got, man. Just, oh, my God. Yeah. This this whole week has been nothing but disappointment, dude. I mean, what kind of- the last yeah. okay, Shogugeki and Rent Your Friends are always disappointment, so I don't, yeah. not, I'm not surprised. But this is the moment though we thought that we thought the sword art was going to redeem itself, and that it was didn't more not. surprising. Yeah, so I'm back with David. I'm sorry, Ku. No, I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> what are you What are you talking about? Yeah, I'm with you this whole time. They were on your I, side again. I, again, I, I can't be happy about it. I know. Because, I know, man. When when Impressive. when when you make like when you give me a chance to like to talk shit to Strand and Koo about being right and I can't even be happy about that, that's what that's even more like <laughs> fucked up. Like I can't like how 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 this happen? How would you like make me not like feel happy that I can't talk shit? Because now I I just yeah. feel bad now. That... It's due to COVID. It, like, it's got to be COVID. That's this, all. That's yeah. all I can think of. Like, yes. Yes. Definitely. So somehow. So again. Before we end, I'll just open the floor. How's Luzaki Chan? Is that will that brighten your day? That is the saving grace every <laughs> week. Fucking Uzaki Chan is amazing. Feels good. Like after like it's it's what I use to cleanse myself, right? <laughs> like after all this disappointment. Um, I just watch it, you know, eating, just feeling good. And after watching all this shit anime, it just you know, it hits you it hits you where it matters the most, you know. Um you- it's a temporary like, forget me all or forget all until we have to talk about it on the podcast. Yeah, most definitely. <laughs> but yeah, if you haven't watched Ozaki Chan yet, Saran, dude, it's 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 dude, good. Man. I have to. It's still like, what I want to do because yeah. I'm assuming next season. I don't know if it has. It's not going to have nearly as many episodes that are, or shows that I'm watching than I like on this year or uh-huh. this season. So I'm, I'm definitely going to like kind of open up. Even though I should definitely try to get Ozaki done so I can actually like mention or talk about it at the end of the season or something at least. Yeah. Just uh, so you'd have something to, so you know, can do some back and forth, even though what sounds like I'm going to agree about everything. So, but yeah, like I said, it's it's a saving grace for me this season, dude. I mean that in Rezero, but like Uz- Uzaki Chan's like the the cleanser. <laughs> nice. Then you yeah, gotta have those feel good. Any other shows you want to talk about? Uh... I'm two episodes behind in Digimon. <laughs> It's I'm slowly losing that. Uh, I saw War. What, what was it? Uh, was it Metal, Metal Graymon? Metal Graymon. Metal Graymon. And I'm just like, oh damn, awesome! And I'm like, eh, I'll see the next episode. Eh, I'll catch up. And so far, we're two episodes. Or you could just watch the original. Eh, I mean, to be fair, maybe it was good because we were kids. But now that we're adults, it's probably not as good as we thought it was. Yeah, you know? I mean, I definitely don't think it's a good show. I, it's more of like I'm just just to watch something else, I guess. Um, yeah. I don't know. I know a lot of people watch Digimon. A lot of people like Digimon a lot more than Pokemon. So there's that. It's more of like, I, it's definitely my show that I actually, like, if I'm eating, uh, David, that's my Shokugeki, I guess. <laughs> um, this is basically usually when I have something where I'm just kind of chewing on something and not completely paying attention just because, like, the story of what they say is just kind of, I mean, we get it. They're, they're like, right now they're searching for the angel. Digimon, move on. So. All right. Anything else? Nope. 
All right. So that's going to be it for this week. I want to thank the audience for being super with us today. Thanks, guys. Thanks, hopefully everyone. Enjoy our rants. We were yeah, hopefully you agree. more heated than this week just because of our disappointments. Yeah. If you want to defend your voice, let us know. Yeah. Uh, Please leave us Let us know. If you're, let us know if you love Kazuya. <laughs> sure. We're going to. We, we will we will send you guys a number for help. Shake my head. <laughs> oh God. I yep. want want to thank the panel for joining me this week. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy my frustration oh, and disappointments. I, even though I I, 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 actually, I, actually, I actually had a good time in Sword Art, even though I could, couldn't be happy that that I was right. Yeah. But... This was fun. This was fun. Sorrow. <laughs> yeah. So that'll be it. So we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Deuces. <laughs>